Do you have to? I won't play it. I'll show it to you. I'll send it to you. Okay. But it's so funny. It's like a woman in her 40s, like a, in a bigger middle age. We should be live. Rural white woman. Actually oh. live? Um, live, so. live, yeah. And every year there's a big a karaoke party in the park. So we can cut it and not have and a bunch of awkward does. at the beginning. Oh. And she, she does it. Sure. And it's good. I mean, like, she full Send me that link. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she went on Ellen, and uh, Missy Elliott, like, called her, you know, it's my funky white sister. And it's great. Like, it's so good. She's who I want to grow up to be. Yeah? Yeah. If mm -hmm. You know what? If I could have this type of Midwestern bliss. You know, same. I, I'll take a cookout. I will be a funky white sister on the karaoke rap. And then, oh, my God, you have to see it. It's amazing, because, like, there was a friend of hers that just, like, throughout the whole thing. I thought she was holding a fish for a minute. Look, look. We her friend's just in the background, like, like working it out, <laughs> like, eating some potato salad. Like, and she's rapping. The whole time she's, I mean, she's doing it, man, and it's so good. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, this chick with the potato salad or whatever is just, like, wandering around the whole video. Like the backup, backup like, singer, like dancer. And it's so yeah. good. Hi, guys. But, We're here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I liked good. it though. We're Holy good. shit. Yeah. What's up? Uh never mind, we're fine, I guess. You guess. God. Just accept it. Just uh put it in your What's wrong, Bradley? No, we're right. It's whatever. See so Rihanna cast two pregnant models. Hmm? For her um the runway of her lingerie line. Mm. Mm. Like, super cool. pregnant. That's interesting. One uh, had a baby 15 hours later. Whoa. Yeah, this one Whoa. had a baby. That like is within... too pregnant. Oh, too yeah. pregnant, five me? They're, yeah. They, they pregnant. Oh, they pregnant. Oh, they preggers. Oh, my God. Can we, like, get our shit together here? Nope. Apparently not. I'm going to open my Trello board. Open your... Trello board. Yep. Trello board. <laughs> yeah. What? This lady? Yeah. It's oh my so God. good. <coughs> and it's just like it's a, like some cookout and she just Oh, that's amazing. Brings it home. Living their best life. She's making me proud. Whew. Hi guys. We're here. Um we are missing someone. He's apparently dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I like the dead. Nice. We're, we're key masters. That's the name of the stream. Um, we're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons for or you. Something like that. Something mm -hmm. like that. It's fourth edition D&D. &D. We'll get close to it at least. Um, oh. I'm going to let Brad finish up what he's doing. He's the one who usually takes the wheel at this point. So I'm just kind of filling the space. Nothing sure in my life lonely. works today. Uh, Hope y'all had a good day. I'm so full mashed potatoes. I wish I had that problem. We could make this happen. Uh, oh my god, what is happening here? Do you need the stool? No, I have it. I just can't get closer. You know, like when you get Sorry. stuck oh, in a. You're stuck on a cord. Hold on. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Go back a little. Yeah, you should be good now. Yeah. I'm like trying to get into a ill, no, ill suited parking spot, basically, you know? You good? Yeah. Okay. Uno mas. One moment. No, it's Liv Moss. Thank you. Can I tell Discord that we're live? One moment. You can tell Discord whatever you want to tell them. If I sound weird, it's because I'm sick. How dare you be sick? I know. It's going to make great fun. Yep. This one we might have to cut. At a... Hi. I don't cut them anymore. I just upload them. <laughs> they can listen to our potato salad wrapping if they That's want. That's what they get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Behind the curtain. We are good. Audio is great, I think. I want a compilation of him clapping. I'm going to wrap over top of it. All <laughs> the claps we've done. Yeah. We're going to make a sick beat out of it. Then we could put a D and D wrap over it. I already wrote one of those. I had the beginning yeah, of those, as far as you can tell, one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. All right. We're good. 
So last week on Game Stars, what happened, Bradley? Um, Ashley, tell me where we started and then get to the end. She's trying. We got problems. Oh, I have to write the recap for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, we went out. over. We had an overview of our standing with the other criminal organizations. Yep, yep, yep. And then we looked for that police dude. Right. Stefan. Stefan Lockhart. And you found out a significant amount of information about him. Oh, I didn't put these people on my Trello board. Oh, how can you let us oh, down? Oh, man. Don goofed, Ashley. 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 I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's where we started? Uh, yeah, so you guys uh, stalked out Stefan, Stefan, found a lot of information about <gasps> his wife and his <laughs> welcome aboard, poor <laughs> Kaka. <laughs> Fifteen months is many months. Yeah, anyway. we've, been, we've been streaming for a while. Wow. <gasps> All right. Andy Pants. <laughs> 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 Um, other than that, uh, you found out about his wife and his dad and his not dead oh, wife. Oh, God, that's right. And his not dead children. Oh, oh yeah. We got lost in his, that. His secret... Didn't he have twins? His secret Amri lover... That his dad that his doesn't know about. doesn't know about. That he shouldn't be dating because his daddy wants him to marry Rich because he comes... His daddy's a general. But he doesn't know about his kids. But he mm. doesn't know about his kids. And they all live in the same town. And you guys needed blackmail to go to this... Uh, to bring in... <laughs> some high-level opium to sell on the streets. And I believe you left off with uh, agreeing to uh, meet a dude. And then uh, a week had passed in between your boat trip and, well, a week was going to pass between your boat trip and and making a deal with, um, holy shit. Amada. Amada. And Anna? Fane was missing. Oh Fane was missing? Yeah. Oh yeah, That's Fane where we was ended. missing. I thought Or not Fane, yeah. Felix was Felix? missing. Yeah. No. In Saturday. No. No. Fane. Fane is missing. Fane's missing too? Oh. Crisis. Felix no. is missing. Felix, Felix right. is missing. You're right. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't like the fact that JP has so many characters. They're all Fs. They're, They're all Fs. Fs too, which doesn't help. Oh yeah, that was the end of that. Oh, That's God. what we did yeah. on yeah. Saturday. Uh, yeah, you guys just kind of ended this one. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were talking to. Oh, you guys went to a pit and fought. We did a pit oh, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight and fought, and then that was the end of that. I put next week wash you opium. Because El Rio <laughs> is trigger happy and likes fighting. <laughs> okay. Well. We're all in a shit. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, the party just won a sweet amount of money from El Rio's pit fight. Oh my god. And some people made some cash. Cash money. Don't forget, gold is actually worth something in this edition, not <laughs> worth ten times as much as normal. <laughs> I mean, it's still worth I something. I got a lot, I think. In any case, I you guys are currently level four. Hi. And that's about it, really. So, uh, after the pit fight, what does the party want to handle? Mm. We are so decisive. We are the best. Mm. Where's Nina? Um. Come here, girl. Wait, didn't we want to open up a candy shop and launder money through it? That was part Same. of our opium. Mm -hmm. Is that a part? Okay. Thea yeah. got excited about that. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, we also found out that the boars killed some people. They were dropped off at the morgue. I have to make them disappear. Yes. Yeah. I got a new one. Now. I forgot to do that. Ooh. Did I do that? Oh, I did not. What am I doing? I don't care. Um. Take me away. It's been so long, I forgot her to do list. Yeah. Um. So, we need to... Establish opium network. Amato was trying to 
make a deal with someone in Washu. He's sending a letter, letter, letter there. Mm -hmm. He knows a priest, and we'll probably all have to go to Washu. We'll have a response in a day or two. That's right. They're setting up the fake Shinami um, shrine over the place oh, of power. Nina is our spokeswoman. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, You're we're not, talking one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For whatever good that will do us. Hopefully many good. Then, uh... Oh, a nat one. I'm glad that wasn't anything. Was then I went to work, we got rid of some bodies, and then we fought. So Did it's we, been about a day. We didn't ever figure out anything about um, Adrian, right? Avery. 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 No. Who's Adrian? There is no Adrian. Adrian's one of our henchmen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. He's I'm like the no, half it's a name. Fork, orc. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't talk. Half orc. He only speaks certain speak certain languages. Speak common. Oh, yeah. but we haven't heard anything about Avery. Mm-hmm. I think we just kill more kobolds. I got. Uh, Isn't that something we were supposed to do? What? Like start killing kobolds we're to, to kill like kobolds, be yeah. seen in that area. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, you have to clear out the area to set the shrine. And we want to be seen over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, no time like the present to go clear out some kobolds. Yeah. Um, one of the people that just was dropped off at the morgue matches Avery's body type, but it had tattoos and he doesn't. Same That's right. Race. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Elrio still thinks he's just dead. <laughs> so. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Theo's banking on the uh, thing that he'll come back. Because he always comes back. He's, he's never but, gone once. I know, but still. Not really. Theo's no, not he's never come back. He's be, dead. <laughs> we'll be eight campaigns from now. Where's Avery? This isn't even the same character. Where's Avery? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know, <laughs> not Avery. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Yeah. And then we go to Eberron, and we get to the final boss, and it's Avery, and we're all <laughs> like, God damn it, Brad. <laughs> Someone call Keith. And I'll be like, I knew it. <laughs> fuck, you knew it. There's a gladiator setting up a ring of criminal organizers, Paladin people, taking over the world, yeah. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> All right, you can oh, just start working. I'm going into a potato coma. <laughs> <laughs> potato coma? Kickstart, you go lift me up. Uh, uh yeah. Bro. I'm so, down to just... Can you kill some kobolds? Yeah. Kill some kobolds. Wait can we go kobold hunting? We could at least go find the area that we're supposed to. We could yeah. go home. I mean, we got to do some scouting while he's out doing that, the actual hard work. Mm -hmm. We can go home and see if the letter came back, and then we can go cobalt hunting. Okay. Sure. Will you let us cobalt hunt, DM? It is, sure. it is night, though, so we could just sneak in there. We are sneakers. We roll in. <laughs> we got sneakers. We are sneakers. Oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> Oh, oh, I know that guy. Oh, it's this nerd. You are dead. Sorry. Nerd. Oh, uh, you're dead to me. We should have put like a picture on the wall or something. We can do that. For tomorrow. I just dropped them in the floor. Mm. What time do you have to leave tomorrow? HAB. How's it going? He's supposed to land at 10.30. He said it typically has a 30 minute MSC. delay, so it's probably going to be like 11. It here. takes about... 35 minutes to get there. Okay, I mean, if you need to go early, we can end early. Yeah. I'm going to uh, watch it while we're playing to see, like, what happens. Delays, yeah. So, yeah, kobolds. Kobolds. We'll back, check for a letter. I mean, we don't have to. It's still night. We'll just go kill kobolds. Let's go kill kobolds. <sighs> Scout the area. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, it may not lead to kobolds. We might end up killing something else. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe an orc. Maybe some orphan children. Let's not kill them. We have one. We do? Mm -hmm. The Vassar. I don't know. He's with our old <gasps> barkeep. Oh, yeah. I forget his name. I don't remember the kid's name. Dragon Kid. Dragon oh, my kid. God. That's why I don't give you guys NPCs anymore. I don't oh. think we named him. Well, we have so many NPCs. <laughs> no one can keep track <laughs> of our NPCs. Hired. I made a trouble Man, if only NPCs. we had, like, this weird app that, like, kept track of our NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> if... If we had that. <laughs> it's a big if, you know? You I never do as know. good as I can. Yeah, it's not Ashley's fault. I need to I would Tara. venture to say that it's no one's fault. Yeah. Who's here? Oh! 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 We 
We couldn't even keep track of our own story guys. He's talking. Fuck you. Dead man can't speak. Fuck you. Yeah, you can't talk. Shut up. JP's a ghost. Look, we got stream up and running. Aren't you proud? Yeah. It only took me eight tries. And my Wi-Fi wouldn't connect. It was a thing. Aren't you proud, senpai? Notice me. Yes. Notice you. Yes. Yeah. Can you not hear me? Please tell me you can't hear me. Oh, oh. shit. Mm -hmm. Can you hear Brad? I, I wonder if that's like a subtle diss. Like he's not listening to him, so he's like, is your mic, mic on, Brad? I can't right, hear you. Right. La, 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 la. Like Fingers is, in my ears. Is, is, you, is this like a... Are you being are you, for real? Are you throwing shade or is that a real question? Yeah. Because it could be either. It's just too far away. Oh, okay. Put it in your mouth. Make it closer. <laughs> Hello. Gargle it. <laughs> oh, oh. Jesus uh, Christ. No. Grapefruit it. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. God, that lady. In the yeah. movie theater. That Anyways. was something that was like in the back of my mind, like gone. It's never going to leave It was you. buried. It's going to come back. It resurfaced back back last week in the movie theater. It's okay. Thanks for trying to watch. Okay. Yeah, you go do you. Is he working? Wow. Look at that beautiful dock. <laughs> wow. I like the dock that curves around in front of the other dock, <laughs> making I love the that. shorter dock relatively useless. He's cock blocking his little dock. <laughs> There's like one noble who's like, I've built a dock. And another other guy's like, I'm going to be real petty. <laughs> Block it off. So we can't do any business. Uh, we call that dock blocking. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so this guy dock blocked the other. <laughs> and that showed up in our legal advice. <laughs> so you've got two. You have two lighthouses, one here. Yeah. Another one down here in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a dock leading out to it. The other one doesn't. Hey, you get that this one. is the area where you killed kobolds, right, right near the S, near ruins. This is where you guys spend most of your time, is in downtown. Downtown. Uptown is where certain somebody has an office. Uptown. Oh, Me. Funky and the middle, middle city, mm -hmm. you guys actually haven't gone into yet. <laughs> oh. And we need to take over the ruins, right? Yeah. Okay. Where do we, where do we fight club? Is that downtown? Yeah. Fight club. Where is the Violet Vipers hideout? Is that downtown? Yeah. Oh, we want to take them where, there, too. Yeah. Where was that. where was the sh where did the ship crash at the very first session? Right, right near the lighthouse. Which Didn't we need to go diving? The boat that sank, that we sank. Well, we got the chest off of it. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there something else? Maybe not. I don't not. think so. Uh -uh. Some I think we had to go across the water to the boars. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. I thought we needed to go, like... Yeah, we, the boars are across the water. We, they live over here. We had a ploy where we were going to, like, pit them against the Violet Vipers or something and be like, oh, the Vipers are fucking you. I probably should have also specified, there's, like, town outside of this. It's just not walled in. Oh. Which way do you have to go to get to where we exchanged guns? Here. You exchanged oh, guns? Oh, so we were actually in the room. Yeah, because we met Where's the, the military base? Is, All the way down here. Is my office oh. uptown? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I was the person? Ooh, okay. You rich girl. Oh, classy. Mm. Uptown girl. Yeah. I like how Living you made it in up. in a lonely world. <laughs> it's actually right. What? It's weast. No, it's east. <laughs> no. You're not like this. How you're are like we? This, this is north. north. Uh, depending. <laughs> no. That's not the direction <laughs> You don't get to just decide. This isn't a flat world. I mean, technically, right now it is. I'm is like, it north I mean, up? Yeah. Okay. North, it's up west, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I live there. I make the rules. D&D, &D, you make it up. Yeah. So where's your office? Where can I meet you? West. Up west. Okay. Up west. <laughs> if you've gone down, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what does the party want to do? You want to clear out some kobolds? Do you want to yes. go ship docking? Do you want to dock your dock with the ship? No. Do you want to go red vining? What do you guys want to do? Red vining. I'm not capable of that. Um, I think we want to explore the ruins. See what we can clear out. 
if Make they're it our own. Cobalt, dock rats. You know. Rat docks. If it's currently ruins. Cobalt docks. And we get a shrine here, that means there's going to be more traffic. So we could theoretically put our chocolate business over here, which I think was the plan anyway, but start building it up and just own this part of town. Religion and chocolate. It won't be the ru ruins anymore. It'll be downtown. Down downtown. New downtown. New downtown. There we go. It'll be downtown. lower city. Down downtown. Undersea. Oh. Yes. Too meta. Nah. We're kind of making them undead a little bit, but yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Head into the ruins at yeah. nighttime. Let's go into the ruins at nighttime. I mean, there's no no one here to tell We're us not, not smart. to. <laughs> oh wait, is he technically supposed to be here? Who? Dead. No. Yes, okay. technically. Is he just like, has he gone on his own quest for a night? Is he just... Uh, yeah. Hey, Fane, why don't you go see if you can figure out anything about your boyfriend who's supposedly dead, who oh everyone else thinks is going to be alive, but he's dead. And just pick up some groceries while you're out. Yeah, don't I'm you. Okay, it. bye. Can you feed the dogs? Sorry, sorry, hold on, hold on. Is there pizza? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he can get pizza. Fane goes to learn about Avery and pizza. And pizza. Let's be honest. And that's groceries. a loose end that I know he wants to, and to figure pizza. out. Avery, yeah. So if he goes and gets that information and next week JP's back, we can actually go explore that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You can dump some information on him. Uptown girl. All right, Joe, I'd like you to roll a percentile die. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I took that peach to work and my mouth was like 62. Hmm. <laughs> Great time. I didn't need it all. But they're so good. I know. That sucks. Yeah. I like that I'm the percentile guy. I, I love it. I love it. It makes life easy, Joe. Brad knows I just like rolling dice for no reason. Mm -hmm. That's true. Alright. Um, when do you guys want to head to the ruins? At night? At night. I think night. it was night. Okay. You guys Heading to head the ruins. There? At night. At night. Sure. All are right. you healthy? Huh? Oh, yeah, are you recovered? Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> are you taking a sleep sleep in your bed bed? <laughs> no, you sleep in a sleep sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> What's a bed bed? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a cool if we rest? Yeah, can I do a nap nap? Have some juice? Juice juice? Yes. <laughs> you can go nap nap. Okay. I need a juice juice. I want a juice juice. I want a chocolate chocolate. Cool. So we nap. And sleep. Okay. And juice juice. <laughs> the party wakes up the following morning. Your world isn't on fire. No one has come to claim all your goods. Ah. You are good to travel about the world. Cool. Now let's go to the ruins. Do I have to go to work today? No, can you call in sick? I don't know if it's a work day. Wait, what day is it? This matters Not too because she might have to. Okay. Sunday, Monday. I think it's Monday. It is. Monday, Monday. Monday. Are morgues Monday. closed on Monday? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, I don't work every day. No. Well, what day don't you work? I don't know. It probably changes. I'm on call. They can blue in me. Are you like the <laughs> manager? You make your own schedule? Not really. Oh. <laughs> I seem to be the only one that ever works though. <laughs> Do you have any benefits? Vacation time? Not yeah, really. you could just take a PTO day. Uh, Dental insurance? Vision? You gotta keep track of that though. A man I mean, pulls out a small pick. <laughs> Dental insurance. <laughs> I mean, I would work with the morgue doctor. So I'm sure I could... So, the on morgue site... Doctor? <laughs> the morgue doctor. On site the morgue doctor. Well, you're Great. not dead. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> he tries to save everyone that comes in. He has a zero percent success rate. But he's so good at his job. He'd be so sad. <laughs> he's <just> depressed. <laughs> he tries his hardest. Oh, maybe we can resuscitate him. Sorry, he's been dead for ten hours. <laughs> Give me the paddles. <laughs> if he only brought him in, he died two days Give ago. Give me the paddles. It's just a fucking like. <laughs> Oh know, my god, can you imagine creature? playing that character that eventually like is eel? so distraught and upset he resorts to necromancy? Mm -hmm. New character. <laughs> Write it down. Start a Trello board. I'm going to start a Trello something. Maybe a board. 
<laughs> what else would it be? Where do I put it? Trello Card? Hat. A Trello <laughs> item? No. <laughs> no, Loretta. Loretta. Uh, what do I do? How do I do the characters? Yeah. Well, that's a star goblin. Oh, I can go there. We can you all share our ideas. Okay. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you... Go down. <clears throat> head into the ruins. <laughs> but isn't she working? No. I'm on call. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have a pager? I <laughs> blew it. That's fine. But how do they find you? How can you to. be on call? What is... Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to... I'm not going <laughs> to address the logistics of this. You're on call. There are like three places I go. The docks. <laughs> That's not one of them. I'm off today. This is how I play hooky. Sometimes you go on a nice cobalt hunt. <laughs> I'm going to have one of our noir go work for me today. That's actually not <laughs> a bad idea. If they could do the job. <laughs> Hide bodies? Yeah. Um, mortician. Who tries to save everybody that comes in. Becomes... Deranged and resorts <laughs> to necromancy. Well, what's its name? Oh. All right, so we go to the ruins. We do. Next day, ruins. Do we get there easily? Ruins. <laughs> no, we get there. All right, so the party heads south through the south gate into the ruins. You meet a sentinel who stops you at the gate. Where are you headed? There. I can't talk. <laughs> ruins. Are they called the ruins? Is that the proper name? No. What are they called? Lower City. Lower City. What for? Scouting out renovation products. Projects. I don't care, girl. <laughs> I was going to tell them all about our chocolate endeavors, but, you know, we're, we're looking to gentrify the neighborhood. Thank you. There is no neighborhood. There's going to be when yeah. I'm done with it. <laughs> that is the weirdest threat ever. <laughs> I'm going to have so many babies, there's going to be a hundred people here. <laughs> you better watch out. I'm going to make this neighborhood so nice. I'm going to neighborhood <laughs> the fuck out of this place. <laughs> Your mom's going to want to live here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we go through. Mm -hmm. So where exactly are you looking? You got some options. Do you want like okay. where like the center of town used to be down here? Or do you want like near the docks? Do you want both? Do we know where the shrine's going to go? No. I say we find a prime shrine location and work prime our way shrine. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prime shrine. So you want like a parkish area? An area with some pretty... Okay. I'm... Okay, so the ruins of the city. Let me sketch this out for you so you understand what you're walking into. So you're walking into no. what Ugh. you could only assume is like a bombed out <coughs> version of some three to five story buildings all nestled together real tight. The rows, the streets are kind of the pathway through these buildings. Most of the buildings are in a square format or a rectangle format with empty space in the middle. It's usually a greenery area. But a lot of buildings are like, boop, touching each other, all facing outwards. Is there a lot of these areas are pretty destroyed. Fires have wrecked large portions of the southern reaches of the city. You can see like a magical explosions of rock portions of them. Very few buildings are all together, and their roofs are very rarely intact. Um, I am looking for a spot that it might be close to a little bit of the remaining greenery, maybe off of a main street, more like an alley where the alley would have been, if it ends up being, like, super nice again, it wouldn't be, like... I'm thinking, like, tranquil. Like, what do, what do, what do these Washoon people want out of these shrines? I don't know. I just grabbed their character. Uh, Ryoko's not here right <laughs> now. Um, one thing <laughs> I would be looking for is access to the sewers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we use that as, like, our go-between for mm -hmm. underground. So somehow we would be able to link up with that so like i want it to be accessible but also tranquil like and they would actually come here you know okay it's not like in a smelly corner somewhere like everybody no. roll perception oh i don't know why i'm so happy that was a 10 that's really nothing to write home about 25 wait where's the 10? 12 14 7 
25. Wow. Okay. Shay? Yes. We're Shay. being followed. We're being followed. What else? What? That's normal. I'm assuming I have like a look when I want one of you two to ping me telepathically, so I would look at you both in that manner until one of you pings me. No, she just does this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fucking assholes. <It's> a... <laughs> there are people following us. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, Shay, with your 25, you will notice um, they're not kobolds. Oh, what are they? Humans. Mm. Shifty humans. Mm. They Shifty. look as if they had lived in the ruins for quite some time, and the guards won't let them through the gate, so they're all like ragtag gear, like hobos. <laughs> yeah, ho- <laughs> they're, they're shankers, hobos with knives, and they're following you around. But they seem to be pretty good at what they do. Uh, the armor that they're wearing is pretty decent leather armor. They're carrying like makeshift long swords, not necessarily like. Stock given, but uh, they appear to be following you around from a distance. Um, Does their armor bear any resemblance to any of the criminal organizations we've seen? Mm. Um, no. Very good. Okay. Maybe we can convince them to be our eyes and ears out here if we build it up. We'll see how they smell first. We can give them a bath. Smell. Well, we're gonna... Can we put a bathhouse out here with our shrine? <gasps> yeah. I mean, we're building it up. It's not everything. Yeah. They seem to be keeping a safe distance from the four of you. How many of them are there? From what you can tell. Mm-hmm. You're still telling. Hold on. <laughs> counting them up, going like this. Girl, you still telly. <laughs> you have a hard time counting to... Nine. Nine. That's many. Um, do you have Streetwise, Jay? Uh-huh. Can you roll it, please? Uh-huh. Thank you. Eighteen. Okay, with your eighteen... Uh, you would know that they're using uh, standard um, stalking kind of maneuvers for like a military fashion. You can only ever see three of them at a time. They're usually always at a distance around the corner, peeking at you, making sure you're in line. But you notice that as you walk forward, when you walk down a new street, you now see three more of them coming out of the alley to your right, but then you don't see the ones behind you. And they're they're in sets of three, and they're all just kind of like moving with you and making sure that you're always in sight. But they seem to be avoiding you uh, or direct contact with you at all times. They're they stay roughly about 100, 200 feet away. Hmm. Should we just talk to them? Can you predict where we can go where they aren't going to follow us and we can duck there really quick and then when we when they inevitably converge we confront them? I like that style. Cut them off. Mm. Mm. At the knees. I don't know about that. Sorry, I'm making rattles. Sure, can I determine if there's an area around us that we can do that? Even if we have to look like we're walking in a circle or something. Acting like we're lost a little bit. I can act like I'm lost. That's true. I need to update my sheets really bad. They'll just kind of meander around until we get their pattern of where they would pop up. Okay. And then duck somewhere that they How long is a wouldn't short rest? be ready for. Five it's minutes. Randomly okay. sporadic. Yeah, can we like logic it out? Sure. Uh, you notice that they're staying <clears throat> kind of in the same general area. They'll stop following you if you go a certain direction, usually too far west or too far south. They seem to be staying close to the top right portion of the ruins, closer to the interior wall. Mm-hmm. Um, 
No idea what they want? I guess not. No, I, we'll find out. Do they have like, I mean, no. they're not like chasing us with hand axes, right? No. Okay. They are, they have weapons, but they're not like. <laughs> 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 We're not like hiding a video game mob. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. But yeah, you can, you can, do you want to like duck into a apartment building, duck into a shop? Okay, uh -huh. roll stealth. Just lay low. I mm. can do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. Oh, oh, guys. I'm going to stealth first. 13, 23. Woo! Whenever 13, I make, 23. <laughs> and whenever I make a stealth check, each ally within 10 squares gains a plus two bonus on their next stealth check. I also got a 23. I got, got a 18. 25. No, uh, oh. with your bonus. Yeah? What'd you get? I gave you two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so. I helped. I tripped. We, we silently count, like, on the count of three, we scatter. Well, if I'm the last one in the building, maybe they just see me outside by myself and I just, like, trip in the street. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the bait, guys. Yeah, you're the distraction. <laughs> I'm your accidental we... bait. So as you enter into, you walk up a short staircase to a front door of a shop. Do I fall back down? It was stairs. <laughs> as everybody gets inside and you slowly swing the cl door closed behind you, you forget that she's outside and she smashes straight into it. And you hear the ting of the door. And then she closed it real fast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mentally. Roll perception, please. Oh my uh, are you are you staying in the downstairs? There's three floors to the <gasps> building. You can go up to. So you can go to the roof. <laughs> the roof, yes. Yeah, we have yeah. Good, we have good um, roof. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Uh, net 20, 21, two. Perception. Perception. Twenty, not natural. <laughs> three. Three. <laughs> so the party heads to the roof. <laughs> I hit um, my head. Um. Nina is looking at a uh, a tree that somebody had planted up here in a rooftop garden that's grown very large. Um, that's a big ass tree. Uh, Nina, it's pretty Nina, gnarly. Just Could you do me a favor and uh, roll Arcana? If I nap one three times in a row, I'm going to get up and leave. Okay. Just switch to the other day. There's a five percent chance Rachel's going to leave right now. Oh, I don't like it. Bye. Okay. Arcana. Mm-hmm. Um, am I detecting magic? Yeah. Can I add my detect magic bonus to this? Uh, let me do some math. 16. We'll come back to you in a second. Nine individuals all converge downstairs wow. at the base. And they all seem to be like, where did they go, George? Ooh. Where did they go? That's so many individuals. Wait. They are not good at their job. Well, neither am I, clearly. They're like in front of the building. Oh, you're good at your job. <laughs> yeah. How far away would you say that it is from where we are? 35 feet. Um, can I shoot one of my arrows down there with my rainbow and just make it look like it's raining on them? Not actually hit them? Sure. Okay. Just, do I need to roll attack or just do no. it? No. Just do it. I just they shoot just it. just get wet. And it just like fake rains they, on them? They look around like they have no idea what the hell's going on. Are you guys hiding? Yeah. Okay. I'm, not I'm laughing oh. at them. I can send you stuff too. Uh, I'm not at the edge of the roof. I'm just standing back, just like probably near the stairs up, just like waiting, watching the stairs. I'm rubbing my head and detecting magic. <laughs> I'm watching it rain and laughing at them. <laughs> I'm trying to be useful. I'm like, this is all I got. <laughs> It's nice. I'm stealing it. It's mine now. I made this. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's, is that for Saturday? Yeah. Well, I just, I found it on the internet. What are you, this here? It's or mine now. this character? Now? Yeah. What? Cyan? Arden. Yeah, yeah. Arden. Yeah. Arden. She Arden. I'm psionic. You, you psionic. Battle mind. You're battle, battle mind. mind. Sorry, too many options. We're the healer and Rogue. defender of the psion uh, Hunter? spectrum. Hunter. 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 And she's ranger? Rogue. Mm. Rogue. 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 She's Who's Rogue. Ranger? Me. She's Hunter. Oh, I'm confused oh, yeah. because of the arrowing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Archery. I throw my bow. 
<laughs> no. He's not 20. This is too good of a bow. Through their heart. I accidentally killed him with my rain. They drown. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, they all kind of like move away from the random rain. They just kind of look around. Do they move out further away from the building? Uh, they kind of like start spreading out, start looking into buildings. Okay. They're not really sure where the hell you went, but you, you, you gotta be here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Still sticking in groups of three, or? Yes. Uh, roll perception, everyone, who's looking at them. Mm. Oh, oh. Aww. No, you're not looking at them. Oh, you're right. 18. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring. You're playing in the puddle. Oh. <laughs> she's, she's having a hard so time cool. looking over the edge. <laughs> Too short. This is so cool, Shay. Wow. <laughs> you just have Shay's lightly pulling the string above your head. <laughs> so this is how we get her to take a shower. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what did you get, Elrio? I and twenty-one. What? Eighteen. Okay. Um, you guys all notice that they have a a it looks like a tooth, like a big fang, like a dinosaur fang, like about like four inches tall. Sticking out of their heads? No. Oh. It's just kind of like pinned somewhere on their body. Yo, that's so cool. Uh, it's in a light blue kind of iridescent oh. color. Super light blue, almost like clear. That's so cool. Interesting. I Actually, no. <laughs> it's changing before our Hold eyes. on. <gasps> Thank you, Adrian. It would be oh, a Yay. deep green. A deep green? Yes. So many noises. Uh, it's this color. I can just do this. Oh. Jade? Oh, yeah. Nice. Mini green. Like jadey green? Uh, a little lighter than that. A little no. bit more uh, iridescent and not so, like, thick. Oh, Jade be thick. More thick. It's got some ocean in it. Yeah. It's got, it looks like wet. Does this mean anything to me? Uh, roll streetwise. Oh, you, your voodoo has Take my curse. On to me. Take it. Nine. Bambi. There are rumors. Okay. But only told by children. That's where I get my news. Who come, who get told by their parents <laughs> that if they're not good, they're going to get snatched away by the barrel fang. Barrel? B R Y L. Barrel. B R Y L. B E R Y L. Oh. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to believe those stories when I was little, but not so much. One now. thing you do know you've been hearing those stories your whole life, but you've never met the barrel pang. No one has. Until now. We should kidnap one to prove they're real. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Y'all yes, El Rio. What's your method of <laughs> kidnap? <laughs> I jump from the roof. He reigns from a I'm really hug. tempted to. All right. Only three stories. I have a teleport that I would just go at the very end. <laughs> uh, while you're debating your next moves, <laughs> um... Nina. Yeah, what's your homegirl doing? <laughs> homegirl is staring at this tree. <laughs> oh, okay. It has a barrel embedded in the center. Mm. The gem, not like yeah. a... No, oh, yes. oh. Not one of these. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a barrel. A barrel. A barrel. Um... Does it feel magical? Yes. The tree is giving off faint magic, specifically from the barrel. Mm. What kind of magic? <coughs> Your kind of magic. Psionic. Yeah. That's what I said. How embedded is it? <laughs> uh, you could pull it out with a little bit of force, maybe a knife. 
But is this a Larish tree? Yes. So I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> do I want to maim this tree? No. As an Right, as an Amorite. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna... Would you take a few minutes to study it, if you want? Yes. Okay. So you guys are gonna give her a few minutes? Alright, cool. A few minutes pass. They're checking buildings nearby. Finally, three of them pick your building. I'm standing at the... Just as you figure out, it is unlinked. To anyone? Anyone. No, bi no binding at all. Why is it here? No idea. It's real small. It's only like... Is mm. Babber seven feet tall? Are the Maybe people eight? walking around Amari? Nope, not that you can see. And it has a barrel in it. Yep. And they have barrels. Yep. Hmm. Elrio, this is weird. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't talk to these a lot growing up. I didn't. We were poor. <laughs> Still weird. Yeah. I don't know what to do uh, with it. Uh, something brushes your inner mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out. I'm gonna try to like form a, a connection. Okay. I know it's different. It's um, weird. It's you not... hear a uh, low humming. You get a uh, feeling of togetherness, and um, rolls insight. Gross. Am I about to be taken over by a tree? Yes. <laughs> I'll Please, kill it. I accept Don't it. Don't worry. Um, ten. Ten. It's a babby tree. Oh, God. But it's mama trees nearby. Oh. Where? Mm. Uh, you get the feeling of northeast of here. Oh, okay. Not too far. Up east. Got it. Up east. <laughs> Middletown. Upright. Middletown? Is that the right? No. Kinda? No. Oh. Wait, that, uh, one, that would be west. You get, like, <laughs> over here. That's up, what? up left. So it's in the water. In the water? No, like this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're like, you're like standing like right here where the dot is. Yeah. So it gives a feeling I was either. Like Mithrain. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Layazar. <laughs> Layazar. I think it's back at Tilray, guys. <laughs> All the way around. Eventually, if you go, you end up back. This is how circles work. Come on. I thought it was flat, though. <laughs> it's not. There's an ice wall on the outside, so you can't. Oh. <laughs> you ricochet and then you continue on Boing. back the way you came. It's got a bounce effect. Oh my god. Um, oh, I feel bad for it. It's not scared. Nope. What is it, it is one of many in the area. Oh, Ooh. why? Mm -hmm. What does it want? Say hello. Okay. Do you say hello back? Yeah. <laughs> Can I touch it? Sure. I'm sorry. The barkless tree. I'm it gets it. warm to the touch. The the barrel and its trunk glows a little bit. I think it loves you. Oh my god, Rio, this is really weird. Don't look at me. <laughs> Do you want to come pet it? Not really. There I think there are people coming upstairs. Well, there's, uh, oh. You hear footsteps on the second floor. I'm going to turn around and draw my weapon and protect this baby with my life. Oh. Uh, We're getting another pet, guys. <laughs> it's a forest. <laughs> Joe, can I have uh, two of these? You want to use this? We got the good markers now. We do. Yeah, you got Becky with the good hair down there. Uh, yeah, yeah. What color marker would you like, Bradley? I would like a bright color. Hot pink. There's a lot of them. Which one? And a less than bright. Hot pink. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to battle cam. Hot pink was popping up. Uh, you just click battle clam. It's top left. Oh, God. Bottle, what have I done? Mistakes for me. Click bottle clam. <laughs> battle clam. Battle clam. Oh, my God. I didn't realize Andrea left the room. That scared me so much. I'm like, who is right there? So, okay. So, there's this palette, and it's oh. it's soft glam. Yeah, that's it. You know soft glam, Ashley? Yeah. Every time I look at it, because of the font, it looks like it's soft clam. Let I've me smear some soft writing. clam all over my face. I, like, I know it's soft clam, but whenever so I look at it... Like a, a white? It is soft clam. Uh, I use that one sometimes. I like soft glam a lot. It's my spirit. It works really well. Soft glam? Yeah, yeah. Is that your favorite palette, Joe? Yes, actually. Yeah, the is. colors blend very well. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the one, that one, like, a uh, reddish color in it that really pops, Someone I use a lot. 
um, reddish. Oh, that's not how I spell Leo. Yeah. No. I think I put an L at the end of it. It's e L R I O. Kind of hard. To L Hanabi fireworks. Andrea's Thea, right? Thea. Thea. Thea, Thea, I'm gonna change all this tomorrow. That's a cute kitten. What? A kitten. It is. The genus of British moths. Oh, my shirt came in. Fifteen That's creepy books. French ass moths. Yes! Click it. Fifteen creepy books to read this Halloween. I need to read cre creepy. Yeah? Creepy books. Did you see the trailer for the new Sabrina? The Sabrina reboot? No! It Here is. Here's Shifka. Oh! My girl. It is spooktacular. So it's gonna be scary? Oh, yeah. What's it gonna be on? Um, Netflix. Netflix? Yes! And it comes out, like, it's soon. It's like, not I mean, even it should far. be, because. That's what's coming out for Halloween this year, because Stranger Things isn't coming out until summer 2019. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Sadness. Yeah. But like No, go away from my desk. It's got spoop music. Move. No. Leave. Andrew, I wasn't no kidding. Beacon. Mm, it's a mortuary. Mm-hmm. No. Have you watched Riverdale? Mm-mm. No That's secrets. Good. Too many mm -hmm. secrets on that monitor. It's just the jumps. Ooh. Yeah. That, that's mini spoop, yeah. Yeah. The whole thing is it kind of Kay. feels like American Horror Story. Yeah. Done. Mm -hmm. huh. That might be too spooky. Mm. No, I think it'll be fine. You know. <gasps> it was a pentagram, and I thought it was a D20. No. <laughs> cool. Pentagram, D20, same thing. Selling my soul to D&D. Basically. I just have the chills. I'm fine. It's all good. We're good. That's me. This is Rachel in the tree. Rachel. In the There's tree. a little glare over you here. Her, you were playing in her puddle. That's what she said. Uh, this side's the street. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's right. This side. Okay, you know. That three individuals are about to come up those stairs and kick in that door at the top. I already ate a charge. Is oh, it maybe, like maybe a, a so it's like a door, like a a jetty outdoor? Yeah. So okay. like it's gonna come up and then there's a door and it's like a overhang thing. Okay. So you can really climb on top of it if you want to. Jump down on it. Yep, I'm gonna be on top of it. I just have my uh Above. my great on axe it. is raised. It's ready to come down. I'm gonna shoot somebody in the head. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. You good right here? Uh, let me hide behind something. After I'm these? done. Yeah, Holes on the those? floor. They'll lead downstairs. Ooh. Home, home Alone style. Lost in New York. <laughs> let me... On the other side yeah. Of the That's yeah. like my favorite movie. Hi, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I watch it at least once every year during Christmas. I it's a good Christmas time. movie. Uh, no. Why it you? is a great Christmas movie. There's also uh, one better. Die Hard? Oh. Die Hard. Yeah. Or Iron Man 3. I'll probably say Dire Bear, which is not. Uh, no, I'll take Die Hard because Iron Man 3 is just Iron Man 2 with the same stuff. Oh, uh, it's the top one. Well, one more up. Yeah. Middle. Middle, yep. yeah. And then just let it go. Drop all the way down. Let it go. Got it. Let it go. Iron Man 3 is not Iron Man 2 with all the same stuff. Iron Man 3 is very important because it's after the Avengers. Tony Stark has PTSD and explores oh, no, you're him right. by himself. It's the first and second one that are the same. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Second one you can discount a little bit. Third one's super important, and yeah. it's a Christmas movie. The third one's the one where he doesn't want to put the suit on, right? Where he won't. He yeah. Won't, he refuses to put the suit on. Mm -hmm. He does a bunch of just Tony Stark stuff, and it's yeah. bad. Yeah, the second's meh. Mm -hmm. That's the one where he like, blows up his house, or is that the second one? The third one, his house blows up. Mm -hmm. The third one. Okay. So the one with the kid. The second yeah, one is the Mandarin. Kid. I love the kid. The oh, yeah, the Mandarin. No. Mandarin. Third one's Mandarin. Oh, is it? Second yeah. one is Whiplash. Yeah. Oh, I Jesus. want my Boyd. <laughs> my Boyd. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Lord. Where some weird guy sure. figures out how to make the exact same, same material, same technology he's made. That's somehow. why it's totally. Yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. that. Lord, okay, I totally so forgot that. Okay, so three people are about to walk up them stairs. Uh, who wanted to all. peek through holes in the floor, see them come through? I I could since I'm yeah. right there. Okay, yeah. roll perception. You could do it sneakily. Too. Yeah. Oh, 
dogs. <laughs> I just love Ten. dogs. I saw the cutest puppy today. It's dark down there. Yep. There's no light. It's dark down there, guys. I'm just standing at the door, ready. Sword in one hand. Are they talking or are they quiet? They're quiet. Hmm. Real quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> the door kicks open in front of you. Roll, per roll initiative. Initiative? What game is this? Oh, can I roll that? Yes. No, it's fine. I'll take it. It's all right. I rolled it, really bad too. It hit. It was a good roll, and I hit my other dice. That's what happened with me. It like yeah. bounced around everything and ended up. Bounce around. Bounce, bounce. Bob Saget, man. Elrio does go full Assassin's Creed. He's ready to fuck shit up. Oh, look at these little boos. I think when I go to West Virginia, I'm gonna get a tattoo. Oh. I'm thinking about getting a ghost. Aww. Really? Yeah. But you're free. Like a cute ghost. Okay. A cute spoop, Like a, a cute spoop. zero ghost? Yeah, I thought about getting zero. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Still thinking. Get a ghosty boy? I, like I want a tattoo. Mm -hmm. I have zero of them. I want a hippopotamus. For, for Christmas? Christmas? Yes. Stop. What if you get one for Christmas? I'll have to give it up. Elsa, I don't know if Elsa would be friends with us. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can afford it. That too. They eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll donate it to the zoo and I'll be a hero. I don't know why that would make me a hero. As long as you can name it. You yeah. donated yeah. a hippo! <laughs> Hooray! Kids Hooray! love hippos. I lo oh, I love That's my favorite really animal. Like, yeah, right? I wish I could do stuff like that. I wish I could do anything. <laughs> you can do a lot of things that other people can't. <laughs> Like happy that you believe in me because what? What? I mean, Ash other people don't struggle when they go up the stairs. You can do that, <laughs> <laughs> cousin. <laughs> only when she's the red. Put a positive spin on everything. Rachel's only down. Guys, I'd like to let you know that Rachel's made great improvements in her life. She's only down to a pack a day. <laughs> oh my God, that's so. I mean, it's so expensive. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> like Lord. $5 a pack. That's where all your money goes. Every time you get paid, poop. Packs of what? I don't know. You figure Gum? out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, Loretta. You tell me. Gum's not that expensive, can't confirm. Yet. All right. Store kicks open. The great gumflation of 2018. Dude, I would die. <laughs> I know. How are you? What's your initiative? Eight. Ow. Shay. You're above 16. That. That's how we show that you're a Or yeah. Zero, because you suck? Okay. He's hiding in the corner. I'm not here. You can FaceTime him in. Uh, no, no. Five. I'm on top of it today. I think I've got a concussion. From the door? Yeah. See ya. Nineteen. Combat. What if they just want hugs? Yeah, like, do we want to recruit them? Maybe we should beat them into submission first. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. The door cracks open and three men pour out onto the field. Oh, wait, you're right in front of me. Okay. That's where I was waiting. <laughs> <clears throat> they look at you at the top of the stairs. Who are you and what are you doing in our territory? They say in Vivalish. Then the other one repeats it in Ronkar. I don't remember what language And I then the guy in the back, he says it in Solarian. I was going to say something really cool, but they ruined it by saying the same thing three times awkwardly. <laughs> I can't even say it, though. Because I can't talk. I'm being very quiet. Oh, because you're out of frame, basically. They don't see her, Where right? 
I'm rating them like to. Oh, you're the gray one. Yeah, you're the. Yeah. Is this not a free city? Not around here, it isn't. Not since the end of the war. Why are you poking around here? Real hey. estate opportunities. This real estate is claimed. So this isn't gonna stay vacant forever. It's not vacant. At well, least this building is. Well, some parts of it aren't. <laughs> Well, we're looking at the empty ones, so I think we're fine. This is all claimed. You're about to be claimed. <laughs> and it's an check. You're about to be claimed. <laughs> I have a concussion. Good one, oh. cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 28. Whoa, 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 whoa. The guy in front goes, we don't want any trouble. We're just protecting our territory, you know? You follow a woman around in the ruins? I follow a woman, not necessarily you. Well, you have been since we've been in here. You've We're not blind. in our territory. Two blocks w west of here and everything to the east is ours. Men in your territory. It's not my territory. Then you whose territory it? is it? Yeah. The barrel fangs. What do you people even do? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you do? What's your occupation? I don't know what that means. The barrel thing means nothing to me. Hmm. We've kept it that way on purpose. Well, then it means nothing to me. Why would you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a point. Uh, you do nothing. Your name has no weight. I tried to bewilder uh, him out of aggression. <laughs> Are you just standing there like? I mean, yeah. <laughs> just thinking about He's it. Got yeah. sword. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's at least four of you. Where are they? Oh, where's the other? Looks around, sees a halfling. One. I like hunch down. Can I try to sell? Yeah. Okay. They haven't like come up the stairs yet. They're like at the landing and like looking. Eighteen. At... I'm like standing with okay. my like my hands on my hips, like yelling down at them, looking like a cross lady. <laughs> and breastplate, I think. I think I have heavy armor, so that's that's a sight. That's intimidating. Can I have like blood elf gear? What? Blood Elf Paladin gear. Yeah, it's e extra. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're, like, mostly naked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got boot plate. Could you, uh... What do you... Uh, I didn't... What? <laughs> We're looking to open a shrine. It's a business endeavor. I didn't think we'd be harassed coming through here. Why not? You think nobody lives here just because the city left it abandoned? Somebody has to take care of the people that were left. Can they not go through the other side into the city? No. Guards won't let them through. Nothing south of there. Since four years ago. You should know that if you lived here. Did I know that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes, you're right. I recall. <laughs> wow, silly me. For I forgot about the people on the outside of the wall. Mm, quite unfortunate. Well, I mean... If you want real estate, go two blocks south of here and anything south of that. We're two blocks west and anything west of that. Whose territory is that? No one's. Well, so there's some cobalt to the south, but everything up here is barrel thing territory. We were here in the cobalt parts recently. Yeah, we know. You killed like seven of them in the docks. Yeah, they're quite vicious little things. Rat infested little demons. Buggers, I agree. Yeah. Who do you work for? What if we had business opportunities for you? You don't. You don't know that. You saw how I handled those kobolds. We work for Melora. Who? Where can this Melora be found? I don't want to reveal that yet. She hasn't summoned you for a interview. Well, you should let her know we're here. Who are you again? The key master. <laughs> In the background. <laughs> Uh, I appear to be contemplating this. I don't think we want to tell them, do we? Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> do we? I'm just, like, peeking. I'm like... <laughs> well, who do we tell them they are? Entrepreneurs. Yeah, we don't... Yeah, we're yeah. just people. I don't... <laughs> yeah, people with weapons and abilities. And capabilities like we've seen. Don't most people have this? Darkest War happened had to survive somehow. I think that to you. <laughs> Yeah. My my mute friend is right. Most people who survive the darkest war have weapons and abilities. <laughs> <laughs> He's like 
Thank you. <laughs> the joy. I mean, really, we're not here to cause trouble with you. Sure, you to... so you're just walking through people's areas, coming in their homes. Nobody lives here. <laughs> you just said it was vacant. <laughs> He's just yelling things like, <laughs> from the other side of the room. What is this tree? A friend. I know. <laughs> There's more? Yes, they're all Malora's. Oh, if she's an Amara, she can be reasoned with. Whoa, what the hell is that supposed to mean, says the <laughs> three humans? Or two humans and an Amara standing in front of you? <laughs> the one in the staircase. That it's probably me... Easier for me to talk to my own kind? The kinship? Understanding? On what business? Curiosity about what these trees are doing here and what her business is? Existing. And... Well, I didn't think they were. I can see that. Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your second question. We're people of means. I think there's potential for a friendship. Friendship. Yeah. Entrepreneurs, people of means. Why don't you tell me who you really are? Maybe I'll pass it along. Well, my name is Nina. Am I supposed to know that? Who that is? No, Your reputation does not precede you. You asked my name. I meant you as a group. Well, we don't have a group name. We're people. <laughs> I don't believe you. We're business partners. <laughs> what kind of business? I'm um, assorted. This one owns... Hidden. Oh. There's, so I look around like I'm looking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, jump up. One owns a bar. We're thinking about opening a, a chocolatier shop. I'm like, we own... <laughs> we have another... I hidden. shake my head, yes. Covered in scars. Hold like a sword and shield in complete battle armor. I just shake my head, yes. A candy shop, <laughs> yes. We'll see. It, it depends. Candy shop, huh? I don't believe you. It's a, not a prime location for any foot traffic. I mean, we take our risks. The neighborhood could be cleaned up. <laughs> I just like imagining people who are legitimately... Absolutely going to this area to try and open a candy shop. <laughs> I believe you're in the wrong part of town. You want north of here. Okay, maybe, maybe so. the wall. I go bathhouse? <laughs> I mean, if there are, north are the homeless wall. people here, they're probably smelly. They're not homeless. We've given them homes. Okay. Are they hungry? Sometimes. For sweets? <laughs> <laughs> Roll the diplomacy. <laughs> Potatoes, you're Rachel, good. Uh, 24. Okay, what are you trying to get out of this conversation? I'm just trying to come off as, I guess, like, I don't know. Not, <laughs> I don't entirely know. I just, I just wanted to make him feel kind of ridiculous for following us around. like. No, but what are you trying to get to? Like, outside of... Um, finding out what they're doing here and who their leader is and who the hell they are. Okay. Like, uh, what, what is their, their point? They're harassing us. Well, how... Who are you? Why We're are you following me? How is anyone Jeez. supposed to know this is your territory without you randomly coming up to them and yelling at them? <laughs> and how is that effective? You're like, <laughs> true story. We're the barrel bang. You've never heard of us, but this should mean something to you. And I'm just like, who are you? It's like the hipster version of the Crips and Bloods. It's the no. third one you never heard of. They wear green. It's like five dudes walk up to you. They're like, we're at Lincoln Park. And I'm like, I don't know. What is that supposed to mean? Like, if it's, I don't know. Like, good for you? Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm also, like, trying to look at them. I mean, I know they're, like, outfitted, but how tough do they seem? Like, uh, feeling them out. Roll perception. How well spoken. A roll insight, sorry. Um, 16. The three of them appear to be educated and um, seem to be working together pretty easily, so they have some semblance of training. Okay. I'm trying to trip them up a little, too, uh, by, like... El Rio roll perception. The and little uh, quips and stuff. Trying to uh, unsettle them. See ya. Roll perception. <laughs> Nice. 22. <coughs> uh, one of the doors to your left, so towards Joe, uh, is cracked open a bit, and there's people in the stairwell. Mm. And then Thea sees three more people on the floor below you making their way to the stairs. Uh, but with your 23, 28 diplomacy, 
That was 24. 24 diplomacy. <clears throat> what did you, uh, is there, what, 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 what's your first goal? What are you trying to get to? It's the first thing you want to find out. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? No, I asked you. You don't get to ask them. Why not? I could. I was talking to them. Yeah. All right. You could pick I don't us. know. Well, which one of those topics that you just said do you, do you think is m more important than the others? That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to weigh them. Like, I, I still just don't understand what they do. Like, are they enforcing order with the people that are still here? Like... How many people are still here? Right, like, what is the barrel... Like, what is their, their whole mission here? Like, are they... they have criminal? The barrel fang currently resides over 4,500 individuals that we keep... Are they, like, an outlaw militia? Or, like, what's kind of... Yes. Okay. I'm They're an outlaw militia with... They're the police. Of this uh, lawless... Yeah. Territory. Loose cannon sure. with nothing to lose. Okay. With, there are loose cannon with leprosy. <laughs> and it's like a four leprosy. square block. Wait. It's bigger than that. Four blocks? No. Because they said two blocks, blocks and two blocks? Two blocks south of here is no longer their territory, and two blocks west. Oh, but so they own that other way. They own the entire corner. Okay. Can you find out that if we want to leave, if they'll <coughs> let us just walk out of here? Yeah, is that a vibe you get? I mean, you rolled insight, right? I roll perception. Okay. I saw the people. Do I do I get the vibe that they'd let us? What's he, what's your insight? Um, sixteen. Sure. Like uh, we've kind of talked them off the ledge a little. They're they're not necessarily waving around threats of violence at this point. It's just a bewildering conversation. Yes. Okay. Like I don't feel like uh, he does not believe you're setting up a candy shop story, though it is technically true. It's fine. Um, he doesn't think uh, that you're here on lawful means. Mm -hmm. He's he is attempting to discover what group you work for and why you're south of the wall. Okay. And he's already he already you would know that they've already seen you guys in action once, mm -hmm. so they know you're capable. Okay. That's why there's nine of them. I don't want to. Engage with a group that we don't know anything about when we're already dealing with a bunch of other groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they want us to leave, and they say there's a place we can go a couple blocks to the west that won't be in their territory and they'll leave us alone, I'm fine True. with that. Mm -hmm. If they're trying to start shit and they're not going to let us leave... We're going to fight our way out of it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll cut my way out of it. Um, I give you my eyeball look that I do whenever I need you to talk to me. Yes. Do you think maybe we should tip them off about the guy coming here? Trying to make a friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do want to take like a neutral, friendly approach to this. Um, so I can tell you're curious about who we are and what yeah, we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I uh -huh. don't think that's exactly up for me to discuss with you. What I, do you mean? I, I think the business... The businesses that we're in okay. appeal to a higher caliber of authority. Mmm, roll diplomacy. Um, 24. Alright, no. My name is Elias. E-L-I-A-S. Got it. Is he a human? Yeah. Human. Here's my friend James. J-E-A-M-E-S. The fuck? Jeems? Jeems? Human? Oh, uh, yeah. Jeems, bring me my pressed trousers. <laughs> it's a butler name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, this site is dying. All right. It's true we have business ventures here. <clears throat> yeah. I do think the details of which should be discussed uh -huh, with uh -huh. the person who runs this territory. And uh -huh. if we're to encroach, and we can respect that. <clears throat> hmm. This is a lawn. Points to the MRI in the back. E L O N? Nope. E L A N. 
Amorai. Is that one a girl Ron or a boy? Mesk. This is my cousin. Uh-huh. He doesn't speak. It's not personal. What's his name? El Rio. Who's this? Thea. Who's this? Shay. Okay. Part of a... Maybe I can introduce you. Um... I'd like if you could arrange that. I... Sure, sure. Uh-huh. I do think our business plans could be beneficial to whatever you have going on here if we could reach an agreement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come with me. Nope. We meet on neutral ground or I'm not going. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll cut my way out of here before I go with them to a place where they can outnumber us more. Mm -hmm. Not smart. Sure. I think we'd prefer to arrange a meeting somewhere that is uh, preferable for both parties and... Well, my lord, my lord can't leave. So you're either talking to me or not talking to her at all. That changes things. That's mm -hmm. also information that we didn't have before. Why could she not leave? Amorite reasons. She doesn't give any details. Can roll an Amorite reasons check? Sure. <laughs> what should I add to it? Um, Amorite. Oh, I'm not a very good Whatever your highest skill is. You can take 10 if you want. Yeah, yeah. I'll take 10. 22. 22? Uh, she could be really, really old, and she can't leave because her tree is keeping her alive. Mm -hmm. uh, she could be bound to a specific location. Uh, she could technically be stuck in, like, a dream state that she can't get out of, but she can talk telepathically with Similar you. Similar to Waking Nightmare? Yeah. Like, lucid Waking Nightmare? Yeah. She could... Now I'm, I'm, now I'm curious. She could mm. be a geriatric old woman who yeah. can't move. <laughs> She, uh, she might not feel safe. She could have people that want to kill her. Do I believe him? Does what he say like sounds genuine? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like Elio. I'm really curious now. We need some sort of assurance. Mm. That's just my opinion. What you know, if you go, I'll follow you. But I would. I think we should get some sort of assurance. Do you, has there any way you can in assure our safety? Yes. Hmm. I wait for him to continue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. Uh, we're generally not murderers and thieves, if that's what you're asking. Well, you did a very good job of representing yourself. We didn't kill you, did we? Mm -hmm. No, no one has. <laughs> <laughs> that much is obvious. How much do I believe this guy? Um, roll insight. Oh, net 20. 24. There is a certain level of honor that he possesses left over from when he was a soldier that would, wouldn't really uh, permit him to allow you to come to harm. And does he seem like he speaks for the rest of the group here? Like he Everyone is taking cues from him. So it's not just like Bob's the soldier says. It's someone at least in control of these guys. Roll. With your, with, your, with your net 20 insight, you would notice that he is waiting a little bit to respond to your questions. So he's talking with people? Yeah. So you seem more like the mouthpiece than the brains behind it. And I know it's limited, so it's someone else in the group. It's the MRI behind him, maybe? Yeah, how many are there? There's only one. Oh, there's only one? I'm going to look at the MRI behind him. I'm going to tell him, you can speak for yourself. That is possible, you're correct, he says. In Solarian. Um, I know my own kind when I see one, so... Yes. Sadly, that doesn't quite work so well on us, but... No, but it so works for less... You're the one ensuring the safety here. Yes, that's correct. I wouldn't necessarily allow my mother to do harm to other individuals. I'm willing to go. Mm -hmm. He has to walk near me. No weapons. His other people far away. He leads the way. I won't harm him. 
if he makes sure no harm comes to us. It's a fair trade. Okay. I'm going to um, really that? explain this as my cousin and, and my personal bodyguard and explain his request. Uh, Alon walks between the two and he steps out and he's like, well, that suits me well. And you notice that he has no weapons. No, oh, he probably does. They're just probably up there. Yeah. <laughs> if he's within arm's reach, I'm more confident. Oh, he was really cocky. He doesn't know how strong this guy is. But he uh, he, he looks to uh, James. He's a 10, by the way. James. <laughs> oh, uh, who the two humans kind of like go down the stairs and leave, and how the door to your right closes. Ooh. I didn't think about that. To fly for Emma, oh, he's a 10. <laughs> Heck. We're getting boyfriends. I know, this lieutenant <laughs> is fly AF. Uh, his hair matches the color that the barrel fang pinned to his chest <coughs> is. Mm, interesting. Do I know? It's also cut short, so like it's like here -ish. So the barrel fang, and I, I had never heard of it. That's not so, something that... Yeah. Do I know of any um, noble ties to barrel? If there's any houses specifically that have that whole affiliation? Knowledge, of, history. Of this is my... You have history, right? Nope. Can I make it untrained because I have a high intelligence? Sure. Twelve. Twenty. Wait, no. Thirteen. I mean, it's not bad. Twenty? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> the line that specifically used Beryl as their signature gemstone uh, stopped existing about 300 years ago. The they, moved, they moved to Viver, and shortly after... Or before, about a hundred years before. Um, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's a yeah. lot closer than Silver Eye. Yeah. Uh, the first Empire Wars, they kind of like disappeared. And nobody really knows what happened to them. Just you also a don't. You can't remember the name, but you know that Barrel was tied to. Everyone oh, would just know that he didn't make fun of any kids growing up in school. Ooh. No. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm just curious on what the hell's going on here. Hmm. So. I'm gonna. You can lead the way. Yeah. I'm a human that wants a tree. <laughs> we could also have sent Fane back as our safety so nothing happens to us, and if it does, he knows where we are. Fane knows you know to come I mean? look for us. Yeah. So, hypothetically, well, we could have invited him and then got rid of him here. Whatever. He knows to come look for us. He knows that if it's dangerous, we would bring him where we were going. I mean, yeah. he's got people now that work for us that he can bring. Yeah, like, he'll bring. The I don't imagine we just be. leave without telling. Like, I assume this, they know. Yes, so. Bane, we're just gonna assume that he's informed of everything. So yeah. JP's in here next week. You still play? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, Owen probably knows too. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows. Uh, so he says, no. "Yes, come. Let's." Converse and travel. They walk back out into the street. Um, I'm going to feel this guy out. Okay. Like, as we've been talking, <laughs> I, oh yeah, oh yeah, mm. uh, oh yeah. Well, he's a ton. <laughs> Hello. He You're breaking ten. your psychology only, Val. I am, right? <laughs> but I'm just curious, like, I know that they're like an outlaw militia and they're taking care of all the people that are, you know, they're, they're doing that whole thing. But like... How criminal and criminal friendly are they? I know they're going on and on about territory, so it's kind of gangish. But like, I'm trying to feel out if this is a group we could even have a conversation with about, you know. Yeah, that's like, it. Like it. Cutting yeah, him in yeah. on the the opium business or whatever we end up doing do in this part of the city. I can kind of see it. Okay, uh, okay. roll insight. If we need to do what it kind of questions out? are you gonna use to get this information? Um, I'm going to ask about the populace, what they do here for the people that are around, what kind of characters, if there's any rival groups that oppose them. Like, I'm trying to, like, feel out the gang structure, the outlawness of this area, how morally upright or not upright they are. Okay. Um, the, did you want an insight? Yeah. It's only 11, but... Okay, World of Homesy. Brad, can I clean this map up? Yeah, you can clean it. Okay. Um, the gonna, diplomacy combat right now. is 29. <laughs> Okay. Um, I like, Alon is I am, traditionally I, I educated. He, um, you get the distinct feeling that someone who has very good ties to Celeri has taught him everything he needs to know about him, his race, and his history. 
Um, he is eloquent. He has no problem holding conversations with you or anyone else for that matter. He seems completely at ease and charismatic as he talks to you and <coughs> begins to, you know, explain the situation and everything else. He's more MRI than I am. Yes. Yeah, uh, you learn the following bits of information that are relatively important from the Barrel Fang's point of view. Uh, they are outlaws, 110%. They recognize themselves as outlaws, not as citizens. They, many of them, have done what they needed to do to become an outlaw, and not necessarily any parts of the bad the Sentinels or anything else. They hate the Sentinels with every fiber of their being for a number of reasons. Primarily due to the fact that, like, they're very, uh, uh, they find their views too constraining, and uh, they they are a hindrance to what they would consider free free will and prosperity. So did they become outlaws because the Sentinels wouldn't let them in, or is it they were the Sentinels weren't letting them in because they're outlaws? Second one. Okay. Also, okay, so they were previously outlaws. It wasn't a necessity thing. Yes. Um, another thing I want to try to dig for here is how aware of the crime situation they are in the city. Oh, yeah, very much so. So they're in mm -hmm. tune to it? Yeah. And I want to kind of fish for if they have any dealings f with any groups in the city, and I'm going to make uh, small talk about, oh... The Violet bluff. Viper's this, and this and that, you know, like... Sorry, Deception, I think is what it is. No, it's, it's bluff. bluff. It's Bluff. You were right. Um, 14. Uh, he doesn't necessarily <coughs> give away that information, uh, <coughs> but you do get the distinct understanding that he is aware of the criminal elements in the city and works with them often. Okay. All right. I would relay that to you guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to ask him as you stroll along through the city? You guys have anything? I'm just keeping track, like, note of where we are. What do oh. you know about the kobolds? Mm, mm. Yeah, so more about these, uh, these ragtag kobolds that are... Uh, more akin to rats than they are dragons. Uh, the kobolds exist in the southern reaches of the ruins. They primarily hang around the docks and just they're the opportunistic. Past. Yeah, they'll show up if you leave food behind. Organized in any way? No. Any well, form of, sort of. Are any they form of leadership? Yes. But not affiliated with any other group? There around. are seven great worms, as they call themselves, that kind of run the kobold groups in the south side of the city. They all worship Serena. They're yes, mostly they annoying. Reason to kill them. But no affiliation with any... They don't have an affiliation with a, any groups you know of? No. They're not disciples of the Violet Vipers, per se. Uh, no. Okay. The Violet Vipers are just as annoying. Yes, they are. I, I kind of give him, like... Sneaky I kind of, like, drop hints that, you know... They're we're more intimately yeah. acquainted with the criminal organizations than just a random group of entrepreneurs should be. Uh, roll diplomacy. I'm playing like a game. Mm -hmm. Or he'll let a little bit go and I'll let a little bit go. And, so much um, you do professionally. Yeah, yep. 28. 28? Yeah. Okay. Um. Like for everything he kind of gives up, I'll give up a little something. If I think he's being up. honest. Give it up. Give it up. Just a little bit. A dance. Just a little bit more. He believes you. Okay. Uh, he's already. You already know that he already assumed you're part of a criminal element. He was just trying to figure out what your names were and if you're affiliated with any of the larger groups. And the fact that you're not wearing any insignia of any kind that denotes <coughs> your allegiance to any of the other groups has already pretty much told him that you're probably small and in a position of not so great power. Okay. He's not really afraid of you at all. He should be, bitch. So he's not associating with us, um, associating us with any larger groups at this moment. No. He's not. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Um, as you walk through, uh, you reach a point in the ruins where uh, things changed, uh, but sort of subtly. Roll perception. <laughs> um, I really 20. hit my head for. I don't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You 24. Know. 21. Nat 20, 30. Oh, oh my god. You're, not 20, you're just so enamored by this samurai. Yeah. <gasps> Yay. Bitch from bread. Bitch from bread. 
Brad Bits. Brad Bits. <laughs> Brad Bits. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, as you guys uh, continue on in your great endeavor, uh, who got the highest perception? The nat twenty. Of course. I also had a nat twenty, but it's still six low. <laughs> Well, That's both funny. Elrio, Elrio from a military perspective, and Shay from a sociological perspective, understand the subtle change that happened as you entered uh, two blocks farther in. Uh, the ruins are set up like this. Uno mas. And I don't see shit because I have a concussion, and that's probably why Macking's so weird. Just in character. Uno mas. You should heal yourself. I, I don't realize I have a concussion. I think nothing's wrong. You guys are going to have to point it out to me. You're just, you're talking real good, so I'm like, she's all right. Um, it's like semi-drunk. It's a little off. This conversation's kind of bewildering. You're bewildered. I need them. Nutter butter booze. I have nutter butters at home. I love nutter butters. My milk's expired, though. I thought you were about to say my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> I typed further instead of further. I just thought that's where we were going with this. No. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. I want an apple fritter. If it, my milkshake. If it brought Thanks. boys to the yard, I'd make one of the milk. I want an apple fritter now. Gosh <laughs> dang it, Andrea. Apple fritter. That sounds good. I want hot apple pie. <gasps> okay, yes. so let's pretend that these are roads. Okay. Maybe Those are great ones. roads. Is so it? Okay. you were down here. Infrastructure is amazing. And then as you continue walking up this diagonal road towards like the corner. Yeah. Uh, once you reach about here, you, you begin to understand that a lot of the buildings and stuff that are built in these areas are ruined on the outside, but not the inside. Mm -hmm. There's people living in the buildings. Uh, there's not holes that go to an exterior area. They're pretty... Um, it's a ruse. Yes. It looks like the city's been ruined, but it's not. Uh, the windows and stuff that face the walls are all boarded up, but the windows that don't or don't face a main street aren't. Hmm. Uh, so from the walls, it would appear that the, this area is uh, abandoned and nobody lives here. And there might be splotches of light here and there, but nothing too crazy. But you would know that the, the buildings themselves are pretty occupied. Um, you see, like, families looking at you from the windows as you walk past the first row. But as you reach the secondary street, there's people around. So I'm curious. I understand these people are on the outside. Uh huh. Outside. But how. I mean. Does the city still bother them? Like. Um, in what way? Like, does the guard come in here and try to kick out these squatters, or how do they stay out here? Uh, Alon responds with, not anymore. Since they've stepped in. That's correct. Okay. They've come down here a few times trying to find out what's going on, and uh, after the first two or three sets of missing guards, they stop sending more. Oh, okay. Well, that tells me a lot of what I need to know. Uh, you'll notice that Iron Mark doesn't have a large militia laying around that they can kind of throw in the area. So, and a lot of people have uh, uh, signed this section off to desolation, which is not actually the case, as you can tell. And he points down the street, and you see like people outside walking dogs. They're not necessarily the cleanest people in the world, but you know. But the cleanest dogs. <laughs> yes. Are the dogs barrel? No. Oh. Why didn't I move here? So what, like, okay, what's the in-the-city gossip about the people outside? What do, what do I know as someone who's lived in the city, kind of what the outside situation is? Uh, the people <laughs> who live outside the walls and the ruined sections of the city. Just poor squatters, Are you know? squatters. They don't want to pay taxes. So they're useless. Hobos. Um, yeah. Good for nothings, like uh, transients. Criminals. Okay. Uh, you'll find, like, <laughs> orcs and uh, savage races in here. And there's ru there's rumors of, like, Undead and demons still roaming about, so the general population doesn't go that way. But it looks a lot more sophisticated on the inside. Hopefully. Yes. Oh, only in this section. Just this, this section. Yeah. They're deep territory, like yeah. in their territory. Okay. Yeah. Hobos. <coughs> okay. That's good to know. As you continue walking up the uh, diagonal street, 
Um, you'll notice that they changed all the street signs for this to Barrel Way. Like all of them? Yeah. Boy. What street do you live on? That's funny. That's obviously pretty mocking. Yeah. <coughs> uh, only the diagonal street. All oh, the other, okay. All, I thought you meant every streets. single street was Barrel Way. <laughs> barrel Way. Yeah. All the other streets are are a uh, a synonym for green. Oh, okay. It's one of them green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Forest Parkway. And then Emerald green, Boulevard. And green with an e at the end. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Okay. I approve of that. Um. Eventually, you reach a point where it's a a a walled off section. You actually can't continue up the street anymore. There's a gate in front of you. Uh, El Rio and Elon are in front. The uh, rest of the barrel cl barrel thing are behind you at like a pretty deep distance. Um, at least 100 feet. Because that's what El Rio kind of would want. Yep. Um, I'm going to be detecting magic kind of off and on as we're going through here too. Okay. Um... Alon next to you possesses a few items of magical significance. Ooh. Um, and get him naked and take him off him. His barrel claw is, or his barrel fang is um, a psionic <laughs> crystal. Okay. So it's like a focus type. Yeah. Which would also confirm your suspicions that he is of the mental, mental aptitude and not... So I'm gonna Physical? like, not to be like super meta, but more of like a scion, mm -hmm. like pure scion style. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Interesting. Um, as you walk towards the gates, which are um, large, uh, they, they look like they were ripped off of a warehouse. <laughs> That's and then hilarious. placed here, like they 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 slide together. They don't like open. I like that. Um, he kind of like waves his hand, and you assume somebody has seen him, and one of them slides open enough for like the party to walk through. Okay. And on the other side of this, you're looking into a large greenery area, roughly uh, about a say a quarter mile in diameter. Oh, well, that's pretty. Uh, it's a nice park area. You, you would know. A uh, shrine would Shay would know that right? uh, this park has existed for a long time. This section actually used to be like a noble district. Uh, houses and stuff are like pretty nice houses. You don't get like less than four bedrooms. Oh. Um, everything facing this park, uh, it's just kind of like a wall of buildings that all kind of like face it. Um, it's a uh, you. There's like <coughs> trees everywhere. You can see flowing water from some distance. Um, at this point, once you pass through the gate, you notice that there's a lot more barrel fang individuals here. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody you see walking around is armed, armored, and has an insignia on them. Okay. Um, at, once you get about a little ways down, uh, the road becomes like a, a cobblestone path that still leads to a large building nestled farther in. Um, roll perception. Uh, just El Rio and... Twelve. No. Not twenty. Twenty-four. Jesus. The building in front of you um, could have been plucked from Sillari. It is a Larish tree structure in the middle of what you would assume is a Larish tree grove containing about twelve large trees that have been here for quite some time. This is off-putting. And I had no idea anything like this was over here. No, None Shay didn't did. even know. That is really weird. Is there like history <coughs> of like <coughs> a gaggle of Amorai here? Roll streetwise. Mm, good question. Well, just like in the city at some point. Eighteen. Uh, um, your Amorai population is less than one percent, so not many at all. Um, mm. especially for Irgus. You know them all by name. Um. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> there were never rumors of Laris trees within the city of Ironmark. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah. This, that's really weird. Roll perception. Especially if they managed to keep <coughs> it under wraps for this long. Roll perception. Me? Yeah. Everyone. Oh. Everyone's a roll. Sweet. Um, 19. 21. 
1813. You'll notice that all the buildings that looked into this parked area are taller than the Laris trees. On purpose. Mm. It would be hard to notice this. And from the sky, it would just look like a... Like, the Laris trees have created, like, a canopy from building to building. they're thick enough. Yeah. yeah. That you wouldn't really know that they're Laris trees. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Mm, clever. Do I feel like I'm seeing something I shouldn't be seeing? Yes. Okay. That sets me on edge. Same. I mean, like, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, the light from the sun filters through down to the bottom. You feel as if you're walking through a... Perfectly manicured Solarian, like, personal garden. Like, far nicer than anything we actually had growing up. Yes. Wow. Or in the city proper at all. Wow. El Rio is uncomfortable, visibly. Yeah. He's not good at super nice places. Like, the nicest place he hangs out is outside of where you do your job. Yeah, which is not... I mean, I guess that is nice, but yeah. yeah. Um, as you walk through, your passive perceptions would show you that Alan's clothes change. They become more traditional Solarian court outfit. How does he manage that? They, it just kind of changes. It just morphs into a different. Does outfit. he have magic clothes? You would know that almost immediately. Why don't I have magic clothes? You can ask for magic clothes. <laughs> I want magic clothes. You'd say that to him. Yeah. You can have a man in each district. Oh, was in their area code. Yeah. I'm like, that's impressive. I'm Cable, jealous. Cable, please. What? Cable, He's please. dying. We'll take turns. We'll, we'll share this oxygen tank. <laughs> okay. Um, as you continue down, uh, you realize that you're in a fairly upscale kind of area. Uh, you cross a stone bridge passing over a small creek that kind of just passes under quietly. Um, there's birds and stuff, nothing too crazy. Uh, you notice that there's not too many people, but okay. everyone in here so far that you've seen once you've entered into the park itself, they've all been Amorite. Interesting. Maybe about 12. That's weird. What total. is this? Hmm. I'm so confused. Okay. 12 trees, 12 people. Hmm. Uh, you walk up to uh, a set of wooden steps that are actually part of the Laris tree that lead to a double wide door in front. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to let him lead the way and just be respectful. and. Uh, he bounds up the stairs as if he's been here a million times and he calls it home. I follow with a bit more, um, I guess, dignity. Like... Slowly, I'm not like running. I'm not trying to look like I'm totally taken by surprise. Okay. Uh, when he reaches the door, he stops. He turns around. And he puts his like back against it. He's like, "Okay." She can be a bit overbearing. She's kind of the matriarch of the area, so be respectful. Any questions before I open this door? She already knows I'm here, but how long has this been here? A while. Why? You'll see. Okay. We'll see if you figure it out. Nope. I have a concussion. <laughs> if you do, she'll be impressed. I think I actually do. <laughs> okay. He leans back and the door opens. Uh, inside is a large, kind of like a, a round-ish room. It's not exactly perfectly round, but it, it sets the stage. To the right is a wooden staircase that leads up to a second floor. There's a balcony all the way in the far back that like leads to other rooms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you get the distinct feeling that you're walking into what could amount to both a fortress and a mansion. Okay. Uh, to get to the doors would require uh, either jumping over a significant amount of furniture, which is grown out of the floor, or fighting through at least the one of the 16 guards that exists in the area. Okay. Um, you find a couple Amorai in the room, uh, about six. There's eight non-Amorai in the room, um, mostly humans. You see one halfling. 
Um, a half orc, but nothing else too crazy. Uh, the half orc is heavily guarded and is standing next to the left door. Okay. Uh, in front of you is not like a throne, but it's like a chair set on a small dais far ahead of you, and the Amorite woman is sitting in it. Uh, she has platinum blonde hair to her like ankles. It's actually going like over the side of the chair. Um, she's wearing a a dress that matches the color of the barrel thing. Um, everyone else around you kind of just like they exchange pleasantries with Alan as he walks in. They're all speaking in Solarian. Um, there's a couple of people standing near her, but mm -hmm. close enough that they could defend her, but far enough away for you to have privacy in your conversation without everybody else hearing you. Uh, there's a couple, uh, like those, like, uh, room dividers set up, like, around the thing, so when you're talking to her, there's, like, short walls on your left and right. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. You see, you know that there are areas of the room that you can't see that you that are hidden behind the room dividers, uh, farther in the back right and farther in the left. Mm -hmm. um, there's a room divider that runs from underneath the stairs all the way down left and connects like to her, so it forms like a, a seven, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, the. <coughs> Uh, as Alan walks through the room, he gestures for you to follow. He doesn't bounce around too much. He seems pretty comfortable in here, and he's like, Mom, I have people. They want to talk to you. And uh, the woman on the throne just, or the woman in the chair just kind of goes, Yes, bring them to me. I already know. And he gestures for you to approach. And kind of like, Short bows and backs off a little. Okay. And allows whoever steps forward to hold the conversation. Imagine I step forward. Sure. Uh, she asks. Yeah. I translate. He's been t speaking in Solarian. Yeah. I translate yeah. everything he's been saying to these two. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, because I'm just like. That's why I've been quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you get the. You two would get the distinct feeling that Elrio is not comfortable with all the pleasantries and fineries and lavish average Solarian, and he feels out of place. Okay, uh, roll perception for everyone entering into the room. As uncomfortable as you oh. probably are. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I mean, be a smoother three. Smoother I have a concussion. My like, character has a concussion. You, you went slightly face. blind. I'm, I'm seeing stars. I have a nat one, so... Overwhelmed? Yeah. 18. Okay. 29. Okay. Elrio and Shay. Um, <laughs> Same stuff. While this might appear lavish, you'll notice that the areas lacking the distinct, like, high fashion Solarian feel. There's not crystal goblets. It's just cups. Um, there's a lot of glass and stuff in the room, but that's pretty standard for so now. So nothing I really want to steal. Right. Okay. Uh, you would. You actually don't find anything of significant value in the room at all. Uh, the paintings and stuff that are on the wall that kind of like decorate the area all appear to be stuff that you could find if you're interested in Solarian architecture and you went through uh, an Amari district in town. Nothing too out of the ordinary. The dress she's wearing is probably the most expensive item in the room. But it also appears to be an heirloom, just well kept. That's not new. Uh, she says, welcome. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Melora. Uh, I assume you're Nina. Mm -hmm. Elrio, Shay, and Thea. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can get for you? Food, drink, water, wine, ale. Water. She kind of like looks to her left to the wall, and then a few seconds later, somebody comes out and sets down like a pitcher and stuff, and pulls up chairs. Okay. Well, I'm going to take advantage of it. There's a small table in front of you. And the she steps down off the the chair and walks across from you and sits down in front of the table with you. I, I ask for wine, because 
if she's offering. She just pours some out of a wine or a decanter. Mm -hmm. Out of her body. <laughs> she, <laughs> she turned the water to wine. Pulls yes. a soul. <laughs> anyway. So, you ended up in Barrel Fang territory on accident. Met my son and... You're part of some organization in town? Yeah. Setting up shop? And I assume candy is not what you're after down here? Mm, not exactly. So now that you know our secret, how can I help you? What do you want? I mean, we really didn't come to intrude or... I mean, if you did, you probably would have made it this far. the people's living here. We were just, uh... Looking for new areas of business. Okay. Well, uh, she outlines that this line right here, these two trees are all emerald uh, barrel fang territory this way, and you can't have any of those buildings. Anything else? No, I mean, that's fair enough, mm -hmm. but... What does she want? Mm -hmm. What would you like from us? Mm -hmm. What can we do for her? What, what can we do... A more... We need contacts inside the city. Alon can come and go as he pleases, but very few of us can enter into town. Do you need information? Do you need resources? A little both. I'd like to know the current layouts of the city, who I'm dealing with, who keeps coming into my territory. Who the new captain of the guard is? Is there any additional forces that they're bringing in? Any squashing of individuals that they're looking is there a large push to reclaim the south side of the city? Uh, do you work for the city? No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, good, because I wouldn't have let you leave here alive if you did. Good answer. Anything else? Um, this information that you're seeking, is it uh, a desire to move against the city? A desire to be kept out of their eye? A desire to move against... Uh, Factions in the city? A little of both of the last two. What is this um, Solarian compound? You can call it home away from home. Hardly. Never seen anything like it. How is this established? It's been here for quite some time. Uh, the people who used to reside in the buildings around this were all Amari at one point and kept this their own little secret. Accessible only by key members of the organization. Okay. But how did you amass such a population? Where did you come from? I mean, there's such a small Amari population in the city, it seems like it's not chance that... The, the Amari population is actually far larger than you would expect. Okay. A few thousand individuals. Give or take. Do multiple people move in and out of the city frequently? No. Here? Kind of stay in this little home away from home, as it were. Kind of keep to ourselves. Roll perception. 13. Hmm. 12. 15. 18. Okay. Uh, that was a low one. <laughs> there's something about her that doesn't really mesh well with something that was said earlier, but you're not really sure what it is. Does she look, like, healthy? Yes. How she old? looks to be probably in her three to four hundreds. She's middle-aged. Okay. She has a few wrinkles on her face, but nothing too crazy. Um, she looks capable of getting out and about. Um, what is it with the small trees? You can think of them as our eyes and ears outside of the grove. Do you not worry about them being vulnerable? No. For the most part, uh, many of the large trees in, in the city are ignored and remain in key locations. Okay. There's mm -hmm. some inside the city, like within the walls? Is that what she's implying? I can't respond to him because he's <laughs> I, talking I, to you. Yeah, so. I can't <laughs> speak out loud. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, 
So the, the one that I ran into was, I mean, it was inside this section. Are there others? In the section? Yeah. I mean, in, in the city itself. Two. Hidden, I assume? Not necessarily. I mean, it's such a rarity outside yes. of... Uh, outside of Silurai, Lyre Streets are indeed uh, pretty rare. That is correct. Okay. And why can you not leave here? I'd prefer to keep that a secret for now. Interesting. Okay. Let's just say uh, it's a woman's prerogative not to leave her home. Okay. Well, that's all well and dandy. Um, we were really just... Looking to establish a shrine, honestly. A uh, shrine to uh, what? To uh, a Shinami shrine. A business compatriot. Yamato is abroad doing other work, but... The tiefling knows with you. Yes. How would you know about him? Exchange of an empty crate at the warehouse district. About six blocks south of here. Killed some kobolds. Met with a... Savvy individual from the Liberation Front. How do you know all that? Eyes and ears. Do we know Owen was Liberation Front? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Owen's not the person that she's referring to. He's the to. weird elf guy. Yes. The guy that we gave the, some of the weapons to. Remember, Owen like walked up with us and it was like the... The guy we met It was met almost with. like a drug deal. Yeah. It was a drug deal. <laughs> But the drugs were guns. Yeah. And there was no guns. Right. <laughs> well, there was four guns. And he had like a... He had like two people with him. One of them was like an Eldera or something. Yep. And yeah. He had a posse. He had his boys. <laughs> the boys. I know of a significant amount of things that happened south of those walls. Very few of it escapes my attention. Kind of make sure of that, otherwise her secret would be revealed. Okay. What are her plans long term? This eventually they are going to make a push, whether it's sooner or later. I'm gonna translate like word for word from what he. Okay. Uh, that really depends on what the answer your, to my next question is. And what is your next question? How can you help us? Are you willing to assist us in our endeavor? Well, I guess we'd have to know what your endeavor is. Survive. Remain independent. And another question is, how could you help us? I have no loyalties to my my homeland, not very strongly. To, you know, to be this far. Well, I think that, it's that makes things difficult. I was banking on the opposite. All right. Well, uh, as you would probably have guessed, Lorai has no... Uh, Ambitions in this area. No. Too far from home. Uh, some of us, however, have lived in this area long enough that it's become home. Away from home. But there is a certain need that Amari would possess. And what is that? Oh, you know, the fair from home. Things. We don't necessarily live in a lap of luxury, as it were. I would like to fix that. Maybe bring a little prosperity to the region. What is she implying, El Rio? She wants imports. Oh, okay. She literally wants us to bring in luxury goods and help spruce this place up and make it what it was before the Darkest War. Hmm. A secret little MRI closed gate community where they can be all high and mighty and prissy and happy. Is exactly how El Rio would explain it to you. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. No. It's, it's not that I have any disdain, I guess, for Silrai. Just not as many happy memories as I think either of us would have liked. I can understand that. I had no memories of Silrai. You're not from there? No, I was born here. Well, sort of here. <laughs> not to make commentary on your age, but this makes this area quite a bit older than I imagined. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be the case. Irgus is a young country. But the area that Irgus sits in is not too right. young. 
So the city sprung up opposite of you rather than... No, uh, kind of at the same time. It's it's more interesting to me that because Irgus is a long country, young country, this place has been around through basically regime changes. Mm-hmm. That's Many. what's impressive. Yeah. And rises and falls mm-hmm. of... Yeah. Indeed. Mm-hmm. I do have some connection to some of the more... Uh, Authoritative families of Irgus. Though we would prefer to be left alone, which they're more than happy to provide. They have connections. That's good. That is good. If it's to higher up in the Irgus, that's very good. Roll insights. <laughs> that's 20. I'm um, 6. I rolled a 31. Three. I have a concussion. It is actually really ironic that, that you, of all people, would do this. Anyone else? Uh, sure. Insight's like one of the few oh. like, I'm good at. <laughs> 17. 14. It rolled from a 17 to a 7. Yeah. <laughs> She's really good at this. Like, really, really good at this. And you probably would not have known if you weren't you in your position. But she's a puppet. She's a voice box for somebody else. And you can't see them. She, she's, there's almost no hesitation, but she's just repeating the words that she's being said to say, and in the correct inflection, it appears natural. You probably wouldn't have noticed in any other situation, except for the fact that you yourself are also in that situation. I ping her. Yes? The, res- the way she responds, yes, do I get the impression that she's still putting on the face in her own mind and she's not surprised, like, she's surprised by this but isn't acting it? Or Yes. Okay. Can I help you? Anything you wanted to say specifically to me and not through your... Nina? <laughs> your Nina. I assume sister, maybe? A relation of some kind. I see it in your face. You're not scaring me with being able to see that we're related. No, I wouldn't. wasn't intending that. Just there's a special relationship mm-hmm. that has to exist there for that to work. I think we can help you, but I think you will also have to help us. In what manner? I think you have to be upfront with us completely. Because you're not being upfront with us completely. That is astute. Nobody has noticed. In the 200 years I've sat in this seat, no one has noticed. I'm like drunk. Huh. But you're diplomatic, yes. Yeah. I'm not calling attention to this out loud or anything. That would be a very big mistake for you. I know. You oh, I'm, I'm daft AF. Daft punk. It can be arranged. For you. Okay. I will... How to say this nicely. Uh, Should this secret ever leave, you won't. Not a threat. Just a promise. It's not something that we can share lightly ever. But since you've already noticed, I wouldn't necessarily want you to bring attention to this in any other way. So, what Don't do I give need? me reason to. And then I break the connection and I just let Nina continue. Mm. <coughs> what did you ask her between Elrio starting that and ending it? I don't know. No, just... Um, guess what, what was I, your next thing to say to her? You know, I, I understand how we could help her from the inside of the city. I don't necessarily understand, without being rude, what she could offer us and our organization being what it is. Uh, she goes on to... She go, she begins a long-winded speech about how she has connections outside of the city that might be beneficial to you, but aren't necessarily beneficial to her position. As she can't leave, so it's not that big of a deal. She's talking in circles. Yeah, so she goes around and around and around and roll insight. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Nat 20. Okay. Uh, 24. <laughs> She's holding a telepathic communication with Elrio. I was about to do I notice that they are yes. both preoccupied. I'm getting a busy signal on and both you're ends. Like, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, you would notice that Thea and Shay are all of a sudden out of the conversation. They're really like They're looking like, around like, <laughs> Yeah, because hey. I'm not yeah. relaying hey, hey. the language Like anymore. I'm looking at Elrio like... <laughs> I just kind of entertain a circular conversation if I know Elrio is doing something. Okay. Uh, she begins, she says, yes, we have connections that might be beneficial to you, but not necessarily to me. Is that like the tail end of it? Yeah. We've got, I give her like a knowing glance. She shrugs. Okay. Well, it's, this that definitely sounds like a place to start. I okay. think there's far more details that could be had. But Roll perception. Where are we starting? Um, ten. Okay. Elrio, roll perception. <laughs> uh, with advantage. Roll twice, use a higher result. Nineteen. This die is... Oh. She possesses... Being so good to me. Today. A resemblance to Elan, mm -hmm. but not one of a mother. Mm. More of a sister. Maybe an older a sister. a cousin? <laughs> no, definitely a direct relation. Oh, okay. Are you saying we're not directly related? <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't have a concussion? Do you want to take you to hospital? Are you okay, you cousin? Fall? I don't need coffee. I'll just give you a kickstart. Well, it's not it. doing it. Because I haven't had much. It's <laughs> <laughs> like still Shaka. full. Like <laughs> She's taking one sip. She's literally <laughs> open and taking one sip. It's really full. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me come. Um... Is there anything else I can help you with immediately? That you can help me with immediately? I have an idea, but let's see what you need first. Let me clean out some kobolds. Nope, don't want that. Oh. They're a good ruse for cover. Though I assume you're going to need them removed. If you want to build a shrine down here. We need to be seen in the area. There's a... Uh, the... Barrel Road that runs diagonal into this area also has a sister to the south. I imagine. But that park is currently unoccupied. What is all the barrel connection? Family legacy. I'm going to name drop the family. Did he didn't you know the name. Oh, no, you did. Did you mention it at all? Okay. I didn't know the name. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Green well, is our favorite color. I can tell. It's not very creative, it's though. It's not a creative color. Green is not a creative color. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was your grand idea, miss? What do you need first? Oh, that's a big question. What do you want from me? Can I... What do you want from us? We want eyes and ears throughout the entire lower city area. Eyes and ears wherever you have domain. Okay. I can do that. What are you What are you looking for specifically? Any other criminal organization activity down here? Yeah, the movements of the other organizations. I can trade that freely. And the promise that you're not going to trade information about us to them. Mm. Secrecy. Mm -hmm. Seems we both need that at the moment. I trust. Okay. Uh, I need you to get something for me. Okay. We're good at that. In a house. I perk up. My concussion goes away. Uptown. Uptown. So I work uptown. I know. Town. How do you know that? As I said, Alon goes north. He followed you after your last endeavor I south of the wall. I would see a man that looked like that. He doesn't necessarily have to look like that. Is he? Mm. Oh, I guess that's true. He can change his clothes and his hair color. Mm. He has magic clothes and I'm jealous. I can give you a set if you'd like. I would like magic clothes. <laughs> Anyone else? Me, please. Okay. Uh, my mortician would also like magic clothes. Mortician. Okay. Interesting. The translation's <laughs> like, uh, she said something about magic clothes. That's what you guys <laughs> like, get. There's like a delay. There's like a delay there. Like, oh, uh, excuse me. She's like drinking. Well, me. <laughs> me. Oh, me. I me, want me. magic clothes. <laughs> She's eating like a donut or something from the bakery. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have normal dogs or Solarian dogs? <gasps> we can acquire a. I need a puppy. 
that needs to be a creature. Yeah, it does. Because that's a really good idea. But Damn, Ashley. It can be my creature that goes into the book. Yeah. Done. Okay. You're going to have to name it. Good luck. If it's barrel, we die it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a great mast, if I send it back. If it's not well <laughs> send done, it I back. send it back. <laughs> Did I have three dogs? If the dogs, sauce is on top, I send, send it back. back. Are you going to be hoarding dogs? They live in our bar. They're gird dogs. They're what? Oh, gird dogs. dogs. Gird dogs. <laughs> okay. Irma gird. Gird dogs. You're also getting concussion. <laughs> it's contagious. Oh my God. Someone be loud. Irma gird. Spooder man. <laughs> it's not, it's not a concussion. It's a virus. Yeah. It's in the air. Okay. Uh, I can I assist choose, you with that. I too need coffee. Um, I have a, a pup few puppies for a laying puppy. around. Yeah, you did. Did you want all magic clothes though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It would help us move around on scene if we had the same I diplomacy the request. It's not just I want magic clothes. <laughs> we could be a better use to her if we could blend in more easily and not have to worry about the limitations of our outfits as we're moving from sector to sector. Right, I don't really wear okay. black. Okay. I can I can assist you with this. And in exchange, <laughs> there's a house in the uptown a uptown area of the city. I'm not necessarily certain which house. Uh, Alan has had trouble locating this object. Okay. What is the object? There is a Solarian artifact important to my house that a individual has acquired and then sold multiple times. I'm not sure who has it anymore. But in any case, uh, it's a set of barrel cookware or uh, dinnerware, cups, glasses, plates. Mm -hmm. China. China. Uh, a solari. <laughs> solari. Uh, a. a <laughs> oh, shut up! Oh, it can't God. be China. Shut up! Oh, uh, boy. A small. Could be a set of washu. Uh, decanter, <laughs> also made of barrel, and a uh, vase made of barrel. They may have been pieced out, <laughs> but I would like you to acquire them and bring them to me. <laughs> Are they magical? <laughs> yes. Who is the last known owner? <laughs> That's the part we don't know. What makes this perilous? How do you get close and then thrown off the case repeatedly? Well, they've changed hands too many times, and Alon can't be too forward. Well, okay. If he could give us all the information, we can... Sure. Crack some skills. Uh, I'm so excited. The I auctioneer that sold them goes by the name of... Richard Kyston. Richard. K Y S T O N. Human? Yes. He's a 73 year old oh. human male, last time I checked. He sold them in his early 20s, so good luck. But you know they're over here. I mean, you're very confident that they are. Yes, they're tied to the grove. Mm, okay. They actually can't leave the city. They just come back somewhere. Interesting. Makes life a little difficult, actually. Peculiar. They're important. Anyway. Get that vibe. Yes. So I would like you to perform a heist for me. <gasps> we're good at those. It's one thing we are good at. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's the name of your organization, anyway? Mm. We can tell her. Keymasters. Okay. Okay. You may have heard of us. You hoard keys. Yes, many heard rumors. <laughs> you blind. <blocked. laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's like one of those jailer rings, but she wears it as a necklace and she just pulls it over her head. Or a <laughs> crown, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> just keys. Crown of keys. I feel like that you're like, like our mascot. <laughs> what? That sounds like a book name. Like it's, it belongs in the middle of the YA trilogy. The Trello crown board. of keys. Do yeah. it. Crown of keys. There you go. Trello and word. Yep. Speaking of magical clothes, could I get a pair of shoes <laughs> like that make hand. me like a foot taller? Where should it go? <laughs> Just look. Can Sadly, I can't help you with that. You do. Platforms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where? Well, it's worth asking. Mm -hmm. The MRI aren't. We lose our team. We don't have issues with our height. Know, We're comfortable with who we are. <laughs> Moving on. It's good for disguises. 
He's just gonna walk around like three kids it. in a I'll trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's two halflings. That's what I would yeah, do. It's two do. halflings in full plate. One of them's <laughs> operating the legs. The other one's the arms and head. <laughs> they bend <laughs> oddly at the middle. <laughs> Pull a Vincent adult man. <laughs> Anything else I can assist oh, you with? Crown of keys. Anything else, guys? I asked that out loud. Just you know. Mm. I think it's a different account. Yeah, me too. Dia's on like her third glass of wine. If they left the <laughs> yes, they did. I I don't think we have anything else to. Good. You will dine with me this evening, and you will remain here for the rest of the night. <laughs> I thought you're gonna be like the rest of eternity. Ooh. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, you will dine with me and remain here forever. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm God. Gonna catch, I'm gonna catch a glance at her fly ass brother. I'm looking for jeans. Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the afternoon tea. No, it's the other one, right? Oh, yeah. On. I, I think James is cute. Oh, you think James <laughs> is cute? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, she wants the butler. Yeah, yeah. Hey, them butlers. I mean, yeah, they got the butler. They can support you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> His milkshake brings all the boys to the. Uh, well, I'm famished. <laughs> yes. Are you? All right. Uh, does anyone have anything else they'd like to ask, find out about, or anything else? Um, no, that's just a little weird for me. I, I, having some PTSD, a little bit of concussion here. I've been around this many of my own kind in a very long time, and it's uh, it's messing with me. It's it's making me feel a certain way. Maybe we can assist you. Aww. How so? Proper training. Could be useful. Okay. We shall stay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the rest of the evening commences with dinner <coughs> with most of the house. There are 31 members of the family. How many forks us. are there on the table? One. Okay. Do you ever find out what his relation is <laughs> to her? No, but you know she's not his mom. I assume that Elria would have told you that. That part I would definitely tell you. Yeah. If there's anything else you're asking, I'm like, I'll tell you later. Because I'm wary of telling you anything else. Well, you would know mm -hmm. I think he's fly. So. Dude, I'm an idiot. Uh, he is I don't single. Care. <laughs> yeah. You do, you it, it doesn't matter if he was. Oh, right, right, right. Um. Evil. <laughs> you harmed. Just because there's a goalie doesn't Have mean we? you can't score. <laughs> 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 Me so happy. <laughs> I don't know. Have we uh, technically taken a short rest? Yeah. Because we're sitting here. Yeah. Can yeah, I? It's been way more than five minutes. Please. Can I use wilderness tracker inside? <laughs> What's that do? <laughs> During a short rest, you can make a perception check DC to be determined by DM to inspect the area around you. This area can be as large as ten squares on the side. If your check succeeds, you determine the number and nature of creatures that have moved through <coughs> this area in the past 24 hours. You ascertain when and where they entered the area, as well as when they where they left. That's your class cool. is weird. <laughs> it is a strange thing. Uh, you would know that... Uh, we'll say that you go outside and take a walk around outside. Uh, you would know that about 50 to 60 individuals reside in the house, or at least go in and out of it. Mm -hmm. um, they all only use the front door. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry, I have issues. Anyway, you spend the rest of the evening uh, dining and conversing with the members of the house. Um, all of them speak Vivalish, so they're actually able to talk to you. Is there anybody in particular anyone would like to look for? Any type of person? Outside of Nina and Alon. No, I'm preoccupied. I'm sorry. Uh, in character, I don't. Okay. Do you, uh, make moves? Yeah, why not? Roll diplomacy. Mm -mm. She does that. <laughs> well, <awesome. laughs> Is that your dance? <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing have a mating dance? You just Maybe. Dancing, Roll moves. 29. That's she would ask you that. Mate, right? He accepts your oh, dance. <laughs> okay. I worship sirs, guys. Come on. You grind you all up on <laughs> Um, do you spend the night with him? Oh. <gasps> yes. Girl! Okay. Wow. While you're <laughs> occupied, what is Shay and Thea doing? Damn. I am... Besides getting drunk, feasting. it's fun. Yeah, and getting drunk. Um, 
What trouble can I get into? <laughs> a lot. Oh yeah. We need to, we need to lock her down. <laughs> we need a leash. <laughs> she is gonna get us all killed. We need a baby carrier. Yeah. There's not a lot of stuff I can steal, but Aww. I also don't want it. No, don't we put me in a baby carrier. We need Zara with a papoose. No. That was my favorite there part are of no that campaign. <laughs> there ain't no papooses can contain this. <laughs> she had some chocolate today. Yeah. I actually did like five minutes ago. I want more. Um, but there's probably not anything shiny that I can steal. Oh, uh, there's a lot of shiny. Roll thievery. Is that a skill? Yeah. That was called. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's my highest skill. You're on top of it today. Like, I have to play my character. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 31. You would notice that there's almost nothing in here worth stealing. <sighs> that's what I thought. Outside of, like, the food and stuff, but. Yeah, but that's there's, what she steals. There's, yeah. <laughs> what about true. the forks? Like, the silverware? It's standard, just standard. Stainless Damn steel. It. Like, nothing crazy. Um, it's made to look fancy. They got cool designs. They got like twisty handles. Ooh, you know? I take that. Yeah. So you're talking like stupid ass Walmart things that's got like weird designs, but it's cheap ass plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I take it out of frustration. Okay. You have a <laughs> write down Solarian dinner set. You have Yay. a plate. A plate too? Yeah. The cool. full set of silverware, cutlery, the whole nine. How'd you steal you a plate? You have the butter spreader, and you're not even sure how because there's no butter on the table. What is butter? I don't even know what oh this my is God. used for, but I got it, guys. What? It's the butter. Okay. I'll say it all for you. You pass butter. Oh. Good. Okay. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Like, I'm just taking a Welcome shortcut. Welcome to the rest of us. <laughs> Alright, uh, while ever, uh, Shay, what are you doing? Yeah, Shay, what are you doing? Shay, 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 what you doing, hey, girl? Shay. Hey, what you doing, hey. girl? Hey, Shay. Hey, 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 Shay. Hey, Shay, what you doing? Hey, Shay, bae. Shay, who you mingling with? <laughs> who you talking to? Right no <laughs> idea. Glad we're on the same page. The back of your head is ridiculous. Oh my god. It is so um, I'm going to stalk like around Mike. after Jeems for a while. Jeems? And then I'm just going to walk around. Cleaning. You find him outside. I don't talk to him. I just stalk him. Okay. We'll stalk. Oh. What is he doing with his life? Girl. Bringing the car around. <laughs> oh um, excuse me. The chauffeur is a major step down from the butler. Thank you. 14. Shut the fuck up with your downtown <laughs> Abbey shit. Downton. Not downtown. I like downtown. No, this is downtown. <laughs> this is Motown. <laughs> Motown Abbey. 14. It's a barrel, Abbey. Um, the button is a mister. Guys, we gotta go a different way with this. He see you. Oh. Barrel Abbey. <laughs> barrel Abbey. He spends the rest of the night uh, walking around outside, drinking, and generally just enjoying the night air. He got a wife, though? No. A husband? <laughs> <laughs> Husband? Nope. Boyfriend? Nope. I'll Eldera. No. Girl, okay. I'm going to make a convert of you yet. To I what? Don't like what people. religion? Sirs. <laughs> oh, okay. Who do you think I worship? Serena? No, I'm not that evil. I don't think I follow anyone. Well, you're gonna. Um, I follow. Yeah, that's... Um. Are we sleeping here? <coughs> like, yeah. yeah. <coughs> I guess I'm going to walk around, probably have a snack before I go to bed. Maybe ask someone what they do with their dead people. <laughs> Professional. Do they have interest. a Do they have a mortician here? <laughs> no. <gasps> Business. Can I they offer my New services? Opening. If you know the Solarian rights, yes. Can they teach them to me? Yes. Yes. New position just opened. We don't die that often, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are humans here. Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah. They throw them in the. Fire that's outside the city. It's been burning for a week. <laughs> <laughs> they, we we uh, smuggle the bodies back in town. You've probably gotten rid of a few of them. <laughs> probably. Oh. Wow. These motherfuckers have been liking your work life hell. Do we have a NPC list for this game? Sort of. She's doing it. Halfsies. Do you have the name of the Amari woman that you've talked to before? Me? Yeah. Who was she? She comes in. You ask, she you helped her get rid of a body. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's I don't have it on my list, but I can get it really fast. Okay. Roll perception. 
Me? Yeah. I can't read and roll at the same time. I'm gonna say I can't read and write, and I was like, oh no, it's <laughs> 21. I, yeah. You look someone. You find someone who looks familiar to her, <gasps> but only of like a distant relative. Hmm. Wasn't her boyfriend husband an Amari too? Her boyfriend husband. Yes. Her man. Her, her man's. Man. Rachel, shut the fuck up. What is she doing? <laughs> I said the same thing I sent to. Oh. She's causing problems. Sure. Basically, yeah, that's my life, though. One second. Well, the here. guys are having hardcore issues right now. Who's the guys? They're trying to play Quake Champions together. Who? All the guys from work. Oh, I'm a, who's his, the guys? They're playing booze. Quake. Who? Who are they? Who are they? Why are they having problems? Here, we're going to search Amorai. I think you're Googling it's fine. It. You just you find somebody looks. <laughs> I'm still gonna find it. I read the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, stop. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> the eye, the eyes. <laughs> it kills me. Do you need pat it or something? Will that help? Oh my god. I feel okay, this is gonna be really insensitive, but like I know how my mom feels. Yeah. This has gotta be what COPD is like. Don't smoke, kids. If you learned cool. anything. <laughs> okay, thanks. <coughs> Shay, do you wanna do anything else? I'll go to bed eventually. Okay, you go to sleep? Thea goes drunk at night night. Mm. <laughs> uh Nina spends her night romping with a blue-haired in, or green-haired individual. <gasps> Wait, how fancy are the bedrooms? They're alright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I steal the beds the are big. The the frames are part of the room. Thea sure. makes a nest and then sleeps in it. Okay. Hey, that's how Ashley sleeps. Yeah. Oh, yo, you don't go to bed. <gasps> you get summoned out of your room at about one a.m. Okay. It's the green-haired lady from downstairs, Melora. So the main, the main hall. Mm -hmm. Hello. Keeping it in the family. Hi. I believe we have to have a discussion. All right. Join me. She walks downstairs into the large room. It's empty. She walks behind her chair, takes a right behind the border thing, and opens the first door and heads down a flight of stairs. I follow. Okay. Do I have my <laughs> weapons and armor with me? Sure. That's good. <laughs> I uh, you go down about 25 feet and you enter into a circular room that is exactly the same size as the room above it there's also a chair here she walks over she doesn't sit in it she sits at the chair that's nearby she gestures for you to sit next to her sit next to her the room down here is lit by uh, candles and some reflecting moonlight that seems to be coming out of the crystals in the walls. Okay. So, El Rio, let's speak plainly. She makes a communication with you. What do you want to know? You've already deduced part of our secret. Do you want to know the rest? As I said, revealing this information to you will bind you forever to this location. This is not something you can ever give away freely. Or we'll have to unleash the full force of everyone that lives here to kill you. <coughs> mm. So, before you answer that question, that is the the terms of the deal. You can probably tell Nina, but maybe tomorrow after she's done. Mm. Yeah, okay. Don't want to know. I can promise that Your secret will never fall into the hands of anyone who will bring this place harm. And if it does, I'll take care of them. She reaches out to shake your hand. Uh, roll a will save. Actually, no, I just make an attack against you. Ah! I love this edition. What? What? No. 
Then what is happening? She's using an ability on me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You feel <sighs> a... Like a... My will is 19, FYI. I rolled a natural 20, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, mm, you damn. feel a... Like a... Compelling... Thing wash over you. Okay. You actually won't be able to tell anyone. Except for certain things. And bad mm. things will probably happen if you don't. Mm. But she actually kind of bound you to what you just said. To what I just said? Yeah. Okay. So if you... So I can tell the entire party then? Right. Right. And if they break it, I'll kill them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, you know, if it falls in anyone else's hands, you'll attempt to fix it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That I'm fine with. Uh, you would, you actually won't know that. Um, yes, you will. You would have noticed this <coughs> already, though. She didn't cast anything. It was actually something that, like, she had been holding. You've probably seen Nina do this before. It's like when you cast a touch spell and then use it later. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, well, with, with, uh, with that, um, I'd like to introduce you to Melora. I'm not Melora. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, Vesk. B-E-S-K. Hmm. I'm, uh, Alon's older sister by about a century, give or take. Alan is her last child, so for obvious reasons. He's 331, to give you a rough estimate. And I take it... You also don't leave here because you need to keep up appearances. Correct. But she's the one who really can't leave. Exactly. She actually can't leave for a odd reason. One you're about to learn um, in your own way. Uh, I would like you to make sure that you keep your weapons with you. And okay. don't, don't do anything crazy. Uh, she's fairly powerful, but must remain here for obvious reasons. Um... Our family, I'll give you the backstory because you probably don't know it, but so we were nobles. Nobles, yes, from Silari. We were captured during one of the jewel wars. I don't remember which one. You ended up in Vivere and then moved from there? No. No. I ended up in Vivere. I don't necessarily share my mother's fate. Um, I escaped a long time ago. Uh, we were our family was essentially sent to Irgus when it was still a prison colony. We were bound here. Makes sense. Uh, our mother traveled for quite some time, spent some time in LSR, and when that was destroyed, ended up coming here. All right. Uh, this was essentially constructed by my father as a home away from home to keep his... Solarian nature intact. Uh, clearly, you know, when you get ousted as an Amorai, they let you take your tree with you for obvious reasons. Uh, and then we've been binding to the other ones in the grove. Just my family, really. For the most part. A couple stragglers. The ones outside of the city, uh, the ones outside of the grove, are bound to the other Amorai in the area. And through the use of telepathic communication with our Laris trees, we kind of keep up a information network without having to put ourselves at risk. Smart. Yes, they might. They see things in a different way than we do, but you know, you know how it is. Well, you might not, but it's fine. In any case, uh, anything else? Questions, comments, concerns? Let's get to it. Okay. Gestures to the back room. A door opens and a Amorai woman walks out. She's far older than you would necessarily be used to, but f for the fact that she's dead. Hmm. I'm not there. Hmm. Uh, her skin and everything is the same color and style that you would normally associate with Shay's job. 
It's a gaunt figure that could not <coughs> exist as a living being, and she kind of <coughs> walks in slowly. And she sits down in the chair. Uneasily, I, like, instinctually just have my hand on my sword. Not, like, grasping it tightly, it's just... Holds knee. <laughs> oh, my love. Uh, she makes her way slowly to the chair that Vescu Julie sits in just floor below. She kind of looks over at you. I'm Alora, she says in a crackling voice. This will be slightly difficult because I can't um, communicate with you in your method. I look at Vess. Can you facilitate? Yes. Uh, so <laughs> she can still create telepathic bonds, but only with people she's directly... Uh, she shares a bloodline with. She still possesses a significant amount of her psionic capability, but nothing that can be used like a traditional MRI. She can no longer cash. But she does possess the ability to hold a telepathic bond with me, Alon, and a few of my other relatives. Mostly her direct descendants. No cousins. Sorry. They usually don't know. <laughs> no cousins. I can hear you. I'll start with the obvious. How did you get here? Uh, she says out loud, because she can just respond to you. Uh... Mm, how to put this? Uh, my husband was a POW for one of the multiple jewel wars. He got sent here through Bavaria as a penance for his crimes after they tortured the information they needed out of him. And uh, I came with him afterwards. Followed in his footsteps. Left Silurai on my own. I didn't necessarily fight in the war. It wasn't. I wasn't even old enough. Okay. Came here, set up shop, grew this, had some kids, traveled. At least I was able to. He wasn't being bound here and all. <coughs> the Urezans are not necessarily, well, the Bavarian are not necessarily uh, nice individuals when it comes to prisoners of war. The Urezans are no better. <coughs> I've been in situations like that before. Hmm. Um, shortly before the first Empire Wars broke out, I went to Elsar for about 30 years or so. Why? Um, political interests. We have connections with multiple other powerful families in the area. We were one of them. Got to start the uprising somewhere. First Empire Wars is a perfect kickstart for that, as you're aware. Independence is hard fought. And then what happened? What became of Elisar happened. Washington intervention decimated the country and sent a significant portion of it to a darker place. I am what coming out of that. Are you the only one? No. There are others. So how did you end up, how did you get back here? I uh, kept my head low before I realized what had occurred, made my way here as quickly as I could, facilitating my speed with my innate magic. Dutiful wife raises dutiful children who 
can't bear to strike down their mother, even if she's in the state you are. Indeed, but not the same could be said for my late husband, who did not survive the attempt. Ooh. Okay. Patricide is a weird thing, but Alon did what he had to. <coughs> Fair enough. Well, now I know who you are, your mm -hmm. story. And now you know why I cannot leave, and why we generally keep to ourselves. You do know that the city is going to get rebuilt. In due time, yes, but hopefully under the guise of someone who can move things in the correct direction. I can't say that I'm the one who's going to be able to do that, but... Nor would I ask you to do that. It is not necessarily your group's endeavor to rebuild Dra or Dragonheart, Ironmark, to its potential. I was going to say I'm not the one, but the rest of my group has the potential to. Yes, if you were to overthrow your other contenders for control of the Underworld, that probably would work well in our favor. And I believe it is mutually beneficial for both of us to allow that to happen. It's funny, very few people make it to the grove, let alone into the building. But Halan has an eye. So we can help each other then. Indeed. And hopefully we can move this in the correct direction. I believe there is someone coming to the city who is going to give you a significant amount of trouble in the coming weeks. Yes. We can assist you with that. Keep him out of our hair? Allow us to move freely? Um, we'll say we'll make sure he's preoccupied <coughs> with the larger fish. All right. So, not completely freely, but freely enough. As long as you're careful, yes. More so than everyone else. Indeed. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Is there anything else? Oh, yes, please do return the decanter, if you'd be so kind. What? Uh, Vesk asked Nina to return a set of cutlery. Oh. That would be very helpful for my current situation. What's it do? It would allow me to assume a more natural form. Um, she can eat on some nice china, thank you. <laughs> my late husband was very, um... <coughs> particular about his appearance. I don't think we would have gotten along. Probably not. He always wanted to, to appear youthful, even in his old age. The decanter assisted him with that. Hopefully I can make it so it works for me as well. And Vesk no longer has to play the hidden matriarch. All right. We can get it. Okay, return it. And you have a deal. It was good meeting you, Malor. It was interesting meeting you, Elrio. Very few people have ever caught on. Even the ones that live here. Vesk will return you to your room if there is nothing else. Thank you. <coughs> she nods. She lets you two leave, obviously. And she takes you back to your room. The next morning, everyone wakes up. Unless Elrio goes through in the middle of the night and knocks on all the doors. No. 
Mm. <laughs> he knows better. There's a sock on that door. <laughs> Dobby is free? Yeah. <laughs> Dobby, sorry. Um, Dobby is free, Dobby door. Is free. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. Boy, that took me a second. All right. Um, is there anything the party would like to do immediately? No. You can, you're free to leave whenever. Okay. Alan asks you for a method of contact. Ooh. Oh. Can I get your number? Where to find me. Both places? The Uptown Apartment. Uptown Apartment? Mm -hmm. Okay. When will you be there? I'm there most nights. Okay. Not Thursdays. No, Thursdays are the day she's always there. Yeah, but I don't need my men meeting. Yeah, you don't want to yeah, right. mingle. <laughs> don't have him come Thursdays. <laughs> Not Thursdays. Okay. Anything else from anyone? Nope. All right. Well, <coughs> you have uncovered a significant portion of the city that I didn't intend for uh. quite some time. And with that, level up. <gasps> hey! So you know what that looks like for me. Do you yeah, daily. Thank you, Eraser. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for hosting us, buddy. We appreciate it. <coughs> Wait, do you tell me to return stuff? No. Oh. You don't have to. Oh. It's junk. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's what? nice junk. Yeah. Alright. Finish. So junk. End session for those of you okay. who are Level tuning up. in. These guys are going to spend the next like <laughs> yeah. hour leveling up. I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, probably when I get back. Uh, other than that, I believe we'll just pick up where we just left off. You guys have a few options of which ways you would like to go. And, that was uh, fun. Yeah. That will be it for today's session. Cool. 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 Um. Hopefully our dead crew member will not be here, or will be here next <laughs> week. Or might not be, I don't know. We're doing Wednesday, right? Yeah. He yeah. should be here. Okay. Um, yeah. A uh, little update on the schedule. We will be here tomorrow with Starcall playing Pathfinder Playtest, mm -hmm. um, where we will be looking for Felix, who is missing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be um, funny, yeah. But it might end a little shorter than usual, so... IRL, Ashley can go get IRL dead slash Felix slash JP. Um, then Monday is Ladies of Bathys. Wednesday will be Keymasters. Thursday you will get some stop, drop, and roll. And next week there will not be Saturday. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because Andrea and I are both gone for a wedding. That's fine. And I am leaving as well. And Ashley is gone. Taking the advantage opportunity. I will also leave. <laughs> oh. yeah, we need to find somewhere to go. Rachel, yes. you have to stay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rachel. You can go to West Virginia with me. That's true. It won't be that exciting. Hmm. Well, your grandparents aren't there, but... Yeah, they're not there. We could go to... We'll go to Japan for two days. Oh, stop. We oh, boy. get back in two days. Right. We'll go to um, Tokyo, we'll buy some stuff, and we'll go home. But that's all the announcements <laughs> we have. Also, check out Tabletop Traveler. It's a blog, and I write things on it. It's really cool. Oh, it's true. It's on our website. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, join Discord Monday, if you're Wednesday, not already in there. Join Discord. Yeah. Follow us on all the things. I got it. And I'm going to go offline now. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. guys. Bye. bye. Love y'all.